sky It's God It's God What's going on everybody? Welcome, welcome to a special stream today, man. We got an in-house guest today, right, man. My Listen, he, he came to town, decided to drop by. Uh, you know, so, you know, I thought he was gonna flake, honestly. You know, he didn't show up to Washington. And yeah, that uh, was last minute, that's why. I, if I could, I would have came. I don't want to hear it. I would have drove there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't you touch me. Yeah, it's free. Uh, yeah. So I'm not charging you to touch me. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, guys, man, we got Sam Shimon in the building, the Shimonian <laughs> in the house, y'all. So make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys share it. Yeah, I know a lot of y'all are surprised and whatnot. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll I'll go ahead and edit the um, the thumbnail so that it could be, you know, you guys can see us. And so, guys, I was thinking that we go on TikTok and y'all let me know. If, if you guys say yes, we'll do it, you know, and, uh, unless we'll just hear Sam talk about it you know, uh, theology or something like that. Uh, but this is what we can do. You guys know how we've been doing it. We can set up the TikTok live, right? We can set up the TikTok live and uh, and we can have the Muslims come up and challenge the Assyrian encyclopedia himself. So I have to show Bruce Lee off. Okay. So what y'all, I'm seeing a lot of yeses. I'm oh, seeing there yeses. Goes, see, again. there you go. There, there you go. <laughs> I'm about to show Bruce Lee off again. Oh, man. Bruce Lee. Guys, I got to be looking here, but it's hard because I like to look at the camera. So I mean yeah. like computer, but sorry. Yeah. You see Bruce Lee, guys? Bruce Lee. It's G. Lee. Wow. <laughs> this is different. This is this is definitely different. Actually having to deal with this type of energy on the side of you. That's right. It's like weird, man. It's weird, bro. <laughs> They call me the Rain Man for a reason. Oh, Hi, Grandma. This is this is this is, this is tough. This is live. No, sir. We recorded this six years ago. Wisdom. This is tough. My grandma and your grandma sitting <laughs> by the fire. They want another flex, Sam. They want another flex. Give it to them, man. It's got. I haven't hit the gym in three weeks with weights. I've been doing cardio, but it's okay. Look at that, man. No definition, man. It's got. What's up, man? What's up, baby? Okay, man. Okay, what are you talking about? That sounds like a personal problem, Mister. Yes, it's a personal problem, Sam. Thanks a lot for that. Okay, man. Um, go ahead and enter entertain the folks while I okay. find my phone. While it's well, as he by. finds the phone, let me just ask the Lord to bless us because we need the prayers. By the grace of God, I'm trying to figure out where I can because this is small and poor guy. My love handles are in his way. <laughs> All right, guys, let's pray for this session. Do pray for our young brother. God will fill him with the Spirit. Bless him with his needs. Pray for me that we practice what we preach. And we mean this. Satan's going to try to attack us, to take us out. So we need the spirit to fill us. We need the precious blood of Jesus Christ to purify us and give us victory over Satan, over our flesh. So be prayed up always. Ask the Holy Spirit to seal us. And we in the front lines to never shame the Lord, never fall into sin, but love the Lord Jesus Christ. Glorify the Lord Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit to obey the Lord, to be doers of the Lord. So we ask you, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, fill this young man. If the Lord tarries and you summon us home, these are the next generation. Fill us and anoint us by the Spirit to be doers of the Word, to love the Lord Jesus Christ by obedience, to show to ourselves that we love Jesus. As our Lord said, if you love me, keep my, my word. So give us that power, Father, because when we delight your Spirit, we delight your son. We delight your heart, Father, because Jesus is your heart who became flesh. Bless Avery and myself. Give us perfect recall of every jot, tittle portion of scripture. Correct any mistakes we make. Constrain us and to exegete scripture perfectly and to live out and obey scripture by the power of the Holy Spirit. And when you ask, Father, that if there's anyone here who wants to blaspheme, muzzle their mouths, teach them to fear the Lord, deliver them to the feet of Jesus Christ, and bless your household. Illuminate us, bless our loved ones, bless my daughters, even their mother, to know the Lord Jesus, to love the Lord Jesus and obey the Lord Jesus and give us wisdom, knowledge, understanding from your glorious, beautiful Holy Spirit. Bless his ministry, bless my ministry, shut the door of opposition, shut the door of censorship and make our voices pleasing to the ears of your children, Father, and beatify us with the beauty of Jesus Christ and help me, Lord, in the areas where I struggle with the health I need setting me free from my bondage to 
obesity, and lust, and help this young man to become holier and healthier for the Lord Jesus Christ. Have your way. We ask the Holy Spirit to be the teacher and we his mouthpieces. In Jesus' name, glory to the Father, Son, and Spirit. So good to see you guys. It's gone. What's up, Blair? What's up? How come here it's like brighter? Or it's not too bright, man. What's up? Well, you know, I, I think I'm, we're missing the light on this other side, but you know, it is what it is. All right. So this is how we're going to do this. So this is how we do it. Dude. I usually already got this getting ready to set up. This is how I do it, man. And this is how I, well, you're off of TikTok, but. And that's nice, man. My face does look lean at this angle. You see? Pray I stay lean and be a spiritual fighting machine and not vain in Jesus' name. Hey, guys, you guys should have seen Your the type of cookies man. he has. The protein cookies. Protein cookies, I'm man. proud. I'm proud. So we're trying to push. Protein cookies, I every six days. You're so vain. I, I missed the super stickers. Thank you guys for the super stickers. I appreciate you guys. Jesus is my Lord for the man, super Lord, sticker. Lord, Lord, Lord. You guys are always supporting the ministry and Dylan here. He says, I listen to both of you all day at work through my headphones. Poor guy, Dylan. Is that why you're single? Not married? Oh, well, hey, man. He probably got he probably got him a little John no, over there. Terrible. Yeah. Uh and man, I gotta go because I need this in my ears tomorrow. Uh, I gotta go, man. Get cooking. Okay, so he wants to hey, save this. Cooking. He good wants looking. to save this. Hey, good looking. What's cooking? We got you. We got you. We got you, Habibi. All right. So I'm gonna put this right here. Well, okay. I'm not I'm not that I'm be set up. Sam is at Logic's place. You invite me, I'll come to your place. But by the way, Lord willing, maybe by the end of the month, I'll be in Seattle. Anyone in Seattle, let me know. I'll probably be there. Okay, here. You're so vain. You thought this song was about you, don't you? You're so vain. All right, we got another super chat. Sam from It's DJ. I appreciate you, Avery, and Sam Shampoo. What's up? The haters so shampooing much. people. <laughs> hey, DJ, play that song. Keep me dancing all night long. Well, uh, you guys have seriously helped me on my journey on spreading the truth to the world glory to god and then from the scripture plug albert who says the spirit is going to be moving tonight I hope. that's right yeshua bar pen and pad on deck god bless both of you and thank you for all you do for the kingdom so one guy said come to india okay i will do that if the lord opens the door i'll be saying pray for india you love india i love india oh. all right guys so here we are. We already got it ready and set up. So look, Sam, you already know how this goes, man. Okay, you I'm know how you know how sensitive Wait, TikTok is. I know. I'm gonna. I'm so here. I, I, just, you're I, back I, and I need you to be right, to pick up my swag. Okay. okay. I'll okay. be here at your beck and call. I'll just respond when I need to. No, you're no, you're leading it. Okay. This is, yeah, I'm, letting, I'm, I'm letting you cook. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm letting questions. you cook. You feel out the question. That's what I'm saying. All right. All right. For sure. You're not like that. I'm thinking. Not yet. Not yet. We start. So we start. All right. You're going. <clears throat> my teeth, man. What the heck? No matter how much I brush, it's still yellow. It's too much coffee. Don't, don't say that out loud. Nobody can see that. Oh. You know, nobody can see that. see that. And so, yeah, no. no it doesn't see. help that your white, your teeth are brighter than. Well, the, you know, the lights on me. The lights on me. So, you know, and then I'm chocolate too. So, like, you know, it kind of yeah. shines more. Right. May God bless the this dream and both Amen. of you. Thank you so much, Christine. The darker, the berry, the sweeter. Is she uh, on my? I think she's on my Facebook. No, oh, no, that's someone else. No. That was uh, some sister in the Lord loves the Lord. Mm -hmm. No, that's not. I thought it was her. I yeah, think, she, oh, she's Christine Martin. Christine, sorry, yeah. sorry, Christina Martin, and then we have Christina Marie. Marie, to, Marie. I need to get original with y'all's names, man. Just uh, let y'all. You're so vain. <laughs> you thought the song was about you, don't you? You're so vain. They're gonna be shocked. They're gonna say, what? <laughs> yeah, they're gonna be like, what in the? Who in the? Where in the? When in the? Who? Who in the? What in the? How in the is that sound and logic in the same spot That's right. together? Yeah. Together? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Muslims, I don't live with him, so don't be coming looking for him. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He's right here. I mean, I don't live with you. So y'all come, y'all come get him. He he lives. <laughs> you have someone who's a theologian. Yeah, don't don't say the name. No, that's what I said. I figured, <laughs> I, figured out. I figured out, so not to mention the name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not, not as dumb as I look. But yeah, so we got Marie who says uh, Marie, Marie love Marie love, love Christ. Christ. Oh, but that's yeah, he's he's yeah, I've seen him on my live stream. Okay. The ultimate duo in person. God bless you guys. Let's get this part 
Already started. All right, brother. Okay, we're here. We're here, guys. What's up, Quran TikTok? In Bible, Muhammad in the Bible. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, hey, Sam, have you? I don't know. I, I've never seen. I don't know if I. Yeah, I've never seen you talk on this. But Which one? So there's a verse in the Quran that says the Quran itself is mentioned in the Bible. It's chapter 26 of the Quran. Of course, you know it. Wow. I, I hope yes. to like the, the, get, the get previous scriptures in the scriptures, uh, the former scrolls. Oh, yeah. uh, this is in the former scrolls. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so I've never heard, and you tell me if you've heard this, but I've never heard Muslims make the argument that the Quran itself is mentioned in the in the previous scriptures. Yeah. I, I, well, they would, in my experience in the late nineties, early. 2000 because we dealt with a different batch of muslim apologists mm. though those individuals they're gone mm. it's like every <laughs> every so often uh, you have a group of muslims who make a name for themselves they drop off the planet and mm. then new blood replaces them but mm. they can't remain consistent the only muslim debater that has remained from that era mm -hmm. there may be a few more but it's shibra ali mm. all the other big hitters they're gone but glory to Jesus Christ, glory to the Triune God. We thank the Lord Jesus for His favor. <clears throat> We're still around. David Wood is still around. Yeah, yeah. And I pray that I'm one of them. That the Lord is pleased with me. I'm still around from the '90s. So, unlike that batch, right, that keep getting replaced, God has preserved us. And I pray He preserves us until He summons us, and you guys take the mantle as you're doing. Mm -hmm. But in response to that, I have had Muslims say that this is in reference to Isaiah 29:12. All right, so that that's funny because so I've been just I've trying to say yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so I, I did a response to Zakir. Yeah, like, like so like obviously it proves that he's a hypocrite that you know his heart was far from God and stuff like that, right? Only serving with his lips and stuff like that, and he was blinded. He says that he closed the eyes of the prophets, yeah. covered the heads of the Deep seers. Yeah. So you really want to say that this is about Muhammad? Oh, You're saying he's a false prophet, yeah. you know? Now here's the funny thing though. So I've been running this. For a few days now. This argument? Yes. And no one has been able to give a rent. No one had any idea where to go to. And it's funny, Christina Marie, she was like in the comment section, she said the Dawa script hasn't been updated yet. I will be. Yes, it will be. You know. But you know it's ironic though. One and one of my older rebuttals. Now I'm not I don't have access to my computer to send you the link, but later I will. Mm -hmm. And my one of my older rebuttals on uh, showing the Quran does not teach the Bible is corrupted. I go now, you buried yourself because if the Quran is in the previous scriptures and Allah will preserve the Quran, then those scriptures must be preserved if it contains the Quran. Mm -hmm. Yep. Do you see the logic? Yeah. Let me tough. repeat the logic to you, Muslims. If you're going to go with chapter 26 verses 192 all the way forward, <clears throat> that this Quran is in the previous scrolls, mm -hmm. right? Brought down by the faithful spirit. So the Quran is in the previous scriptures, yet the Quran will be preserved. So if the Quran is preserved, and yet the Quran is in the previous scriptures, those scriptures must be preserved because it contains the Quran that cannot be corrupted. Right. So you just reinforce the fact the Bible is incorruptible. Mm -hmm. I love it. See? That's tough. It's rough so, out there. So, so going back to the, to the, to the 29, uh, Isaiah 29, 12. Remember, I said I've been running this for for some days. Yeah, no one is given. They literally have no. They have no idea. They try to go to oh, Muhammad is this? You know, they go to the Muhammad passages. Yeah. But they, I'm like, I'm not asking about Muhammad. I'm asking about the Quran. Yes. Where does the Bible mention the Quran? They like, I don't know. And so there was one Muslim who came and actually had a reference in mind, and he quoted Isaiah. Yeah, so yeah, that's the one that he quoted years ago when we were first. I remember when we did apologetics, we didn't have YouTube, Facebook, Discord. It was all written. Mm. So when a Muslim wanted to respond, he would start a website and write a written response. And what we would do is we'd go to that website and see if there was an update. Mm. Then we'd respond. That's why in Answering Islam, you'll see, some of the responses are like 20, 30 pages because mm. that's how you re refuted one another. Yeah. So that's how I know that argument. But like you said today, apart from, let's say, Zachar Naik, using it to show that <clears throat> the Bible announces an illiterate prophet, I don't see many Muslims using that passage. Yeah, they stopped. Yeah. They stopped. Okay. So with this being said, guys, you guys know how this goes. Um, really, this is just background is just for the background. We, we can touch on anything if you guys have any questions muslims yeah. specifically because we want muslims to come up we want a cook session you want a cook session right sam yes sir all right we're trying to cook man so uh for the muslims if you guys want to come on up and engage in the conversation 
you're more than welcome to join us. All right. Uh, we got over 300 people sitting in here in TikTok so far, and it's going to grow mm -hmm. up. It's going to get up there. Um, you're welcome to join. If you're a Christian, <clears throat> please with, with, withhold your requests until maybe a little later. We bring you up to ask Sam questions if you guys want to ask questions. If you're open to that sound. Yes. Anytime. All right, cool. So as long as they don't start attacking last time, just come to them, get to the question. Yeah, yep. So please be respectful, get to the point. All right. You guys know how we do. We like to we as long as you're respectful, man, we could be chill. Sam is one of the coolest dudes. One of the coolest dudes. If you're respectful. I've I've seen it with my own, I've seen it with my own eyes. I've seen it. I saw it. Man, you can right. throw down a beat. You know, I can hold a note. You know what I'm saying? I can hold a note. You know what I'm saying? It's in my and by book. the way, folks, the topic is Christianity and Islam. Don't bring up irrelevant questions for Avery that have nothing to do with Christian Muslim evangelism like the Deuterocanonicals. Guys, please respect the owner of the channel. Respect the topic. He's not like me where he'll cuss you out and block you. Right? right. Because this is what I get upset. You know what the topic is and you guys bring up irrelevant issues. And this is this was a Christian who was asking this. Mm -hmm. I can't understand if a Muslim asks that question, but yeah. be that as it may, the Lord strengthened our throat. I need it. I'm getting old. I'm not as young as this man. Maybe a little better. But hey. Just a little bit. I'll All give right, it to hey. you. I'll give it to you. <laughs> All right. You got it. Come on. Words and All questions, right. people. So let's see. So we got a couple of guests up in here. Uh -huh. You got a Khadija. We got a couple of guests. Yeah, yeah we got a Khadija here. here, man. Mama's wife was here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how long she lived. Make sure you guys share the live, tap the screen. Blendina. Make sure you guys hit the like button on YouTube. I figured out, Blendina, you're not a Syrian anymore, Blendina, even though I have an Assyrian friend named Blendina, mm -hmm. because she likes to blend in mm -hmm. with all ethnic groups. <laughs> hey, guys, on, let me say this really quick. Uh, let me see who's in here. Black Doc, okay, good. Black mm -hmm. Doctor's in here. I don't know who he is. So, oh, yes. Yeah, that's, my, that's, yeah. that's, right. that's, that's right. right. That's him. So, yeah. hey, Black Doctor. Uh, we just saw someone just try to hop on the stream and then they just tried to use, you, you saw, they just got out of there real quick. So please, can you be ready to co-host if, uh, if we get ghosted? So now what the Muslims are doing here on TikTok, they found a way to hack the live. You can't see them or mute them. So you can't kick them out. You can't mute them. And they just cuss. They, they uh, blaspheme so Jesus and the Holy Spirit and stuff like that. So what, what we do is, is that someone else can co-host with us and it drops them immediately. And then the person will leave. Beautiful. So, ba so basically, like, so you have a co host. Yeah. So they can't do that. So yeah. Well, yeah happens, yeah. But I thought you guys respect Jesus. What happened? Mm -hmm. well, you, you keep telling us we respect Jesus and Mary. So, why would you come and insult and blaspheme Jesus? Nope. That's because someone it's all says, like, some far from the mic. Am oh. I far from the mic, guys, or you can hear me? Let's see how this goes. All right. Well, I mean, I keep going. Yeah, you just do it in a little bit. Yeah. Can you guys hear me? <clears throat> Maybe it's just on her end. Maybe I don't know. So make sure this is touching. Uh huh. Thank you. One hundred. Why is she calling me? No, I'm live. Can't call right now. Bob, you know I'm live. Do not call me, please. Right. I love you so much, Queen Mother. Staying alive. Staying alive. Ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha. Staying alive. <laughs> right. Save the Richie and said Sam's head is giving us East Africans a run for our money. What? Excited to see y'all cook. What does that mean? <laughs> Well, I'm very know. sensitive because a year ago my face looked leaner and I'm like, oh, the, come on now. The Eritreans, man, they on another level, man. Make sure my sound is okay. So what's the question? Anyone? Okay, hold on a second. So it looks like they're saying there's saying there's a sound man. issue. Hold on, guys. We'll go. Everyone we'll be right says back. the sound is good here. Yeah, on YouTube it's it's perfect. Oh, it's TikTok, the TikTok. TikTok. TikTok has a good TikTok, TikTok time to rock. TikTok, rock. TikTok so has a good there she goes, there she goes, there she goes. Sam looks like Avery's friendly neighbor. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Violet, you're not the boss of me, man. Sam. All right, so they're saying sound is back. Good. Um, now let's okay. see. I know, I know what Violet is. I'm sorry. You're not the boss of me, Violet. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. All right, uh, B, actually, I beat my wife because I was trying to be like Muhammad. That's so B, D, one, two, three. When I beat my wife, which is a lie from the pit of hell, I was doing chapter four, verse 34. I wanted to beat her because I wanted to see how Muhammad felt when he mounted a nine-year-old and violated her when she was playing with dolls. And he beat her in the name of the Satan, Allah, which is why Jesus buried Muhammad in hell. He's under the feet of Jesus Christ. So keep talking and watch what I do to your prophet. So are you saying I was wrong for... Doing the sunnah of Muhammad? 
Wow, so you're saying Muhammad is a white beating pedophile. Oh, 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 oh sorry, yeah, oh, sorry. The word. <laughs> yeah, let me know what words I can't yeah, use. So so okay. So if you <laughs> Yeah, what words can I can't use? Sorry. So you can't so don't say for if you're for people who pass away, know. you say unalive or something. Oh, like you gotta do oh it's yeah. not strict on it? Yes, it's, it's like they'll get right. you. Let me, know. let me know. You know, so how uh, do I say with someone who plays with children? Um, say PDF. Okay, file. PDF. Yep. Yeah. PDF file. Uh, um, PDF file. Yeah, the mm -hmm. PDF file and uh, the unlive Muhammad, mm -hmm. who is go. unlive in hell. Mm -hmm. that, that, Keep barking, right. guys. That's can fine. I say barking? You can say barking. <laughs> you can say barking. Right, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so we gotta we gotta watch that because they'll they'll try to run. They they they're already reporting the live already. So yeah, I'm I mean, sure. So all right. <clears throat> yes, so. exactly. Your unlive Muhammad has been calmed down in hell. He's burning in hell. For the PDF file, so Jesus did calm down that white beater. Mm -hmm. Camel pissy upon it, but go ahead. All right. So now, guys, notice these are responses to the comment sections that are attacking. And moderators, please, when you guys see people in here that's doing that, make sure you guys take care of them. I'm trusting y'all. Take care of these guys. All right. You guys take care of them, and we will be able to have this stream lock and loaded, and have good, peaceful dialogue. All right. Amen. So. Let's see who we have. So that's here. why, remember, Muslims, your Quran says in 6108, do not insult the gods that people invoke, lest they insult, I insult say, Allah. I just want to say, right? Avery, this has got to be the collab of the century. Oh, this is like, this what you doing here, man? <laughs> so he's sorry. talking? I just wanted to say that. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I ain't never seen this. This is a sight to see. I opened your eyes. I was expecting your beautiful black face, and I saw this handsome fellow right next to you. It was old. Who's that? So, so this is a uh, this is a young brother light. He does apologetics on here too. Young brother, but you know, got zeal for the Lord. So, um, I love him. He's he shows me, or he's the one who shows me around on on TikTok. He's like, hey, said, don't say this, do this, whoop -de -whoop. helps me with backgrounds and stuff. So, good brother in the, in the Lord, man. And this is the comment <clears throat> section for YouTube, right? Yep, this is YouTube. But there, you guys section. can say what you want. It's yeah. on TikTok. You can't yes, say, yeah. you know, PDF file. Yep. <laughs> TikTok was <laughs> censored. I'm I'll say, uh, what's it called? Hopefully the Lord, you, the Lord leads you guys through this live. And I pray that, you know, y'all do well with the people that y'all talk to. Exactly. Hopefully y'all don't get bananaed, right? Because I did see some people in the chat saying, report the live. Of course. So, of course. See that guy? Hey, Hasumo, I shit on the uh, Holy Ghost. Hasumo, I mess on the Holy Ghost. So, so, I'm, a, so, I'm, a, so I'm, a, I'm so, turning this so, down. Yeah, so, that? so that's what they just did. That. But I thought they, you had a co-host. No, so the co-host has to start it. Once the co-host starts it, that's when it kicks the person. Okay, right? so the co-host started? Yeah, so he's about to start it. Now, this is what's happening. So people who can't... See what they do on TikTok, guys, yeah. now? See what they're doing? So I had to turn the live down, guys, because there's somebody who's a Muslim, has hacked the live, and is trying to... Uh, and now he's gone. See, now we got the co-host like this. Yeah. Thanks, Black Doctor. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, see, that's no what happens. Problem, okay. fam. God bless you guys. God bless you. See God what these guys you. are doing? The Muslims can't defend Muhammad, so they're going to try to hijack the TikTok in order to blast the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, this is what I was saying. I want to remind you, Muslims, of what your Quran says. Let's see if you really believe in your Quran. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in your Quran, but you do. It's chapter 6, verse 108. It says, Do not insult those whom they invoke besides Allah, lest they insult Allah in their ignorance. Mm -hmm. You just have a from okay. God, so thank you. Muslims, thank you. if you really respect your Quran, I don't respect your Quran, but you do. Insult the Lord Jesus Christ, mock the Bible and slander us, and it's not going to bode well for your deity and Muhammad. Pedophile, I mean PDF file, PDF <laughs> file be upon him. So let's see if you really believe your your book of I can't say certain terms. Yeah, you can't say certain terms. Like, you, know, you know what I'm saying about like uh, what they call it, like what they do with uh, Playboy Man. Yes. The P yeah. word. I can use that? No. Oh, see? No. See, okay. okay. Anyway, you're lucky, guys, because it's on TikTok. Yeah. That's why I, I don't like China and TikTok. You see, I'm telling you, man. But look, guys, I'm telling you. Thank, yeah, thanks, Silf. Uh, Black mm -hmm. Doctor helped, helped to take care of it, so I appreciate it. Thanks, Ralph, for the super chat. It says, this is a great collaboration. You are, you all are great. Learn a lot. God bless you both. <laughs> this guy says Chris Lasala. Dude, go watch the four sessions I did with Chris Lasala. Someone said Chris Lasala. Where I shish kebab and barbecued him. Stop it. I can eat shish kebab barbecue. Yeah, yeah, you can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Tell, yeah. tell Chris Lasala if he wants to manifest those demons that speak through him, let him contact me because I'll lay hands on him and exercise those demons. Chris the salad. 
<laughs> Chris, if, if that's your hero, dude. Oh my goodness. That's the hero. Yeah. All right. So, man, we already got 720 people in here. Already, wait a second. Come on. Where are this, the questions, this, this, folks? This is what you be doing, huh? Peoples, what's up, Peoples? Where's the questions? Come on, ask me some questions. All right. So, we got uh, Yemeni royalty. I believe he oh, made royalty from Yemen. So, as long as you guys come respectful, like you guys know the vibe, come respectful. I'll we can have a beautiful day. I'll just sit back and listen. I got you, brother. All right. So, let me uh, just fix this uh, thumbnail here real quick. <clears throat> And we will get ready to bring up Adam. Are, did I hurt your feelings, Adam, little sweetie? Did I not give you love and attention? So now, like a narcissist, you have to go like Sam. People respect him, and you. Know, I'm sorry, Adam. There, there. Let me come and hug you. Let me sing you a lullaby. Hush, little <coughs> Adam. Don't say a word. Man, go grow a spine, dude. Life doesn't revolve around me, dude. Neither does it revolve around you. So are they? So he's right here. What's going on, guys? How you doing, man? Hold on. Give me one second. Let me brighten the screen up so we can see you. There we go. All right. All right, there we go. That's much better. So there he is at the bottom corner right there. How you doing, man? Shave, bro. I'm doing all right. Doing pretty good. Good, good, Look. good. But did you uh did you have a question for Christianity or uh on the topic? So really a few things. I was looking at your topic. Um and who what Muslims are saying that the Quran is mentioned in the Bible? Muhammad actually. So if you go to, do you have a Quran on you? I thought I thought he's a, he's a Muslim, but he's saying all Muslims are saying so. He's speaking as if he's not Muslim. Oh, he's a Muslim. Muslim. Oh, okay, because he's Correct. So, so where in the Quran would it say that? Yeah. So if you go to chapter twenty-six, bro, go to chapter twenty-six, and you want to read in context verses one ninety-two to one ninety-six. Yep. Yep. So I'll read it for you if you want me to. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I could get it for you. Or just this recall. <laughs> Regarding uh, prophecy of the Prophet Muhammad in the Bible. No, that's that not, yeah, that's not a prophecy saying the Quran is in the previous scriptures. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in the Bible is definitely prophesized. Yeah, we can uh, we can go through in that. the Gospel of John. Oh, yeah, 16. yeah. yeah. What, 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 Yemeni, one, one, one second. So John sixteen will be the janazah. Yeah, that's the funeral services for your prophets. That's but tough. it's okay. Just be patient. So so what so what we're doing here? Yeah, Yemeni, Yemeni, one second, one one second, bro, one second. Look, what we're doing here. Is because I, I understand that you know the Quran says that Muhammad is found in the previous scriptures. I understand that. What I'm what I'm saying is this is actually something that's unique. You know, it says it's not talking about Muhammad. It says that the actual Quran is mentioned in the Bible. You know, so that's what we're we're focusing on here. You understand what I'm saying? I, I welcome I welcome you to bring that verse. Yeah, I got so you. If you let him read it instead of going to John 16. Is in the Gospel of John. So here yeah, we go again. Said, can you be I, patient, I'm, dude? I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to give you the Quran. You're you gonna mean? send you to Mecca if you're not patient, and then you can talk to John in Mecca. Okay. Hey, bro, you're kind of too easy. Take it easy. To take it easy. To the, to the yeah, Yemeni, 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 Yemeni. I got, I got Yemeni, Yemeni. I got the verses if you want from the Quran. Yeah, let's do it, bro. All right, for sure. So yeah, guys, there's if there's glitching in TikTok, the audio is working just fine, but you know, got to deal with it. All right, here we go. So thank you guys for the super chats. So 26, 192, it says, and truly this is a revelation from the Lord of, of all mankind. All right. 193, which the trustworthy spirit has brought down upon your heart that you may be of the warners, okay? In the plain Arabic language. So we understand that it's talking about the Quran, right? The revelation of the Quran. You understand that, right? Him, yes. I know you know it. Yeah, no, but he knows it too. He knows it's not about oh, it. So uh, then show him the verse before he goes to John again and avoids the topic. <laughs> so he's gonna All do. right, so now here's 196. Here's the verse. You ready? It says, and barely it is mentioned in the scriptures of the former people. So it, the Quran is there. And it's... So the Quran is mentioned in the previous scriptures. Sure. And do you understand what that means? Uh, if you would allow me, I can explain it to you. So Go Islam ahead. didn't begin with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon him. Islam is a religion that has been around from the Prophet Adam through all the prophets, Prophet Abraham, Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him. Uh, and all the prophets. So the message has remained consistent. Right. The message has been the same through all these prophets. So, so where, where's the Quran? Uh, 
in a way where it's saying the Quran is mentioned in the Bible, uh -huh. but that's not the case. It's the same message. No, that's not right. what the verse says. Unfortunately, unfortunately the Bible is That's not what the verse says. Yemeni. Trinitarianism Yemeni. and stuff like this that have been yeah, yeah, Yemeni, Yemeni. Yemeni, I know you're scared. Don't hide like Aisha. That's not what the Quran says. It says the Quran is in the Bible. I know you want to do your own tafsir. How, how the verse says it is Bible. in the uh, scriptures of the, the former people. Guys, Come with a little more respect, old man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're being disrespectful because you go on tangents and you talk over people. So if you respect yourself, then I won't have to treat you the way you deserve. Listen more than you manifest. I the verse you, doesn't you say just, what you said. You it says the Quran is in the... Yeah, 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 you need to listen. Yemeni, I'm, I'm yeah, responding yeah, to the question yeah, like you yeah, 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 so, here. Yemeni, notice, notice, notice something, bro. Where, where you asked for the verse. And even when you was asking for the verse, you was cutting us off by going to about John. So it showed that you didn't really want the answer to what was what you asked. We're showing you here. The verse doesn't say it doesn't say that the same message. Listen, it doesn't say that the message of the Quran is in the previous scriptures. It says the Quran itself is mentioned. The Quran, not the message. The Quran is mentioned in the previous scriptures. Even Ibn Kathir says this. I feel like this is uh, semantics to a degree because so the Quran is the message. The Quran, so the Quran is, is the message okay. that was received, a revelation that was received, and it made That's not what the verse so says, buddy. Deal with the verse. We're basically saying the same thing. Right? No, that's not what the verse says. Deal with the verse. John was not in, in an effort to run away from this topic. That's it not what the verse says. Deal with the verse. You're running. The, the verse the says the Quran is in the Bible. Are, are you guys reluctant to look at the Bible? Is that the well, 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 if I go to John 16, it's going to be Janaza for Muhammad. You know that, right? So I, I'm I, trying to be merciful to you. Yes. Yeah, so, so Yemeni, I, honestly, we, I want the whole purpose of this title is to go to the Bible. I want you and, and any Muslim who can to show me where in the Bible is the Quran mentioned. I'm not asking about Muhammad. If you want to go to Muhammad, we can go to Muhammad later. Okay, Trust me. Okay, yeah. We can go to Muhammad later. I promise you. I'll let you lay out your case. I'll hold Sam back on a leash and make sure that you full, you know, flush it out. But right now, I'm asking, <laughs> I'm asking, where in the Bible does it mention the Quran? Because it says the Quran is mentioned in the Bible. Okay? So that, that's what I'm asking. I do want to go to the Bible. My my answer to that would would be as follows: uh, the the Quran is a message that was revealed to the Prophet peace be upon him. And my understanding, and we can look at the tafsir, the interpretation. Of okay, the good. Let's of do that. Verse. Let's do that. Let's go. Let's go to the tafsir. So, uh, let's go to Ibn Kathir. Okay. The first thing that before I made this title, I checked the tafsir. I make sure I check the tafsir before I bring the question out. You know. So this is what Ibn Kathir says, bro. It says, and he titles it, look at this now. The Quran was, was mentioned, mentioned in the previous, previous scriptures. scriptures. Yeah. That's what Ibn Kathir says. And he said, go to the tafsir, right? So yes. So he continues. Allah says, this Quran was mentioned and referred to in the previous scriptures that were left behind by, the, by their prophets who foretold it in ancient times and more recently. Oh, wow. So, so Ibn Kathir says it's not the message, it's not the concept, it's the Quran that's and been before foretold. He comments. Now, Salman, pretend you're listening, Salman. We went with the Quran, he wanted to go to Tafsir. We give Tafsir, you say it's not Quran. So, can you guys agree on your deceit and taqiyya? Oh, go ahead. He, he, was, he was responding to somebody else, not you, bro. Like, we're having one conversation here. Okay, can you answer like the question now? Let us have the conversation. Okay, Stop answer working. the question. Shorten his leash so we can talk, bro. Don't worry about it. I'm going to put your prophet on a leash soon, but okay, answer anyways, the question. So, so uh, the, the the message has remained the same. So, repeat the question. He, he yeah, yeah, I'll just, yeah, I'll just, I'll just summarize what I just said. So, remember, you said go to the top seer, right? So, I went to the top seer. I pulled up Ibn Kathir. And literally, Ibn Kathir says, and I'm reading it, I quote, the Quran was mentioned in the previous scriptures. He says... Allah says this Quran was mentioned and referred to in the previous scriptures that were left behind by the prophets who foretold it, the Quran, in ancient times and more recently. So yeah, and I, yeah, go ahead. I believe that wholeheartedly, as I believe in the entirety of the Quran, uh, where it's, it's contained in the Bible, mm -hmm. I couldn't tell you. I'm not an expert. That's I would fair. definitely That's go, fair. go back and, and research. Um, 
That's you know, fair. Where in the Bible exactly it's it's located? Mm -hmm. One aspect of it we do have to acknowledge, though, is the fact that uh, historically the the Bible unfortunately has been changed, oh, has, has been, been translated, has been uh, no, 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 no. from from different languages. It has been translated. Can we agree on that? The Quran no. has been translated different languages too. Can we agree on that? It has been translated, but we have a preserved no, you manuscript don't. in the original language. No, you don't. The Bible does not. No, you don't. Okay, can I correct your misinformation? No, you do. don't. The Quran was, was revealed. Do you want to preach or do you want to interact? Arabic manuscripts. Do you want to preach or on interact? Name me the earliest extent Quranic manuscripts. How old are they? And do they contain the entire Quran? And then name me the variant readings that exist amongst them. Name them for me. Go ahead. The, uh, Let me repeat it again in case you didn't hear me. Name me all the oldest well existing. Well See, there you go. You're talking that, over. Wait, did you did you hear him? Name me all the he's, existing. He's there you go again, talking over me. Someone needs to leave you. Name me all the. the, all the so this is not wait, wait, give give Yemeni, Yemeni. Yeah, he's not listening. Yeah. Yeah. Did, did you did you hear the question that he asked? I did. Yeah. Okay. Name. Okay. Name me the manuscripts. What what are what century? When were they written? Do they contain the entire Quran and then list the varying regions that exist among them because they disagree in dozens of places? The thing with the Quran, with the Quran, uh, not only was it uh, written down as it was revealed. Did you hear my question? Because you didn't your answer question, my question. Answer your question. Let me Name me the surviving Quranic manuscripts that scholars have analyzed. Oh, absolutely. So, and so there's, day, when have, they were written. We have manuscripts. In, in Sana'a Yemen, we okay. have original manuscripts. How, it's not original to Uthman. Even the Muslim scholars say that's an 8th century codex. It's not Uthman. Original so, Uthman. How many surahs in that one? How many surahs in that one? They're complete. They're not like... No, they're not. See, there goes your uh, misinformation. No, they're not complete. Uh, how many surahs in the, sa the, the Sana'a? How many surahs? What are you asking? The Sana'a that you referred to. In comparison to the Tashkent, how many surahs do you find in the Sana'ah manuscript? Buddy, as Sorry. you know, as you know deep down, the Quran is the same. So come on, on. Right. Yeah, yeah, Yemeni, Yemeni, come on, man. That's not a that's not that's not gonna satisfy the, the, the question, man. He's asking you specifics. So if you don't know the answer to that, but, it's but okay let's, to let's just say the, you don't know the answer to absolutely, that. Absolutely, as as I've done before, but let's put the Bible okay. on the same scale. Well, no, no, so wait, Yemeni, yeah, yeah, see, see, you miss what, what Sam did. <sighs> Yemeni. <laughs> it's, okay. it's Friday, it's Friday, man. It's Friday. It's Friday. So look, hey, bro, if you want to bark, just let it out. Look, let, 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 Yemeni, don't worry, I'm, 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 I'm barking. Prophet bark in I'm, a minute. I'm barking. So Yemeni, Yemeni, listen, listen, listen. You don't understand that. Sam is actually using the scale that you said, bro. You said something about the Bible. It was translating in many different uh, translations. You don't have original manuscripts, yada, yada, yada. So Sam is using your scale and is applying your logic to the Quran. And do you see how like you don't have any answers for that? Yeah. So you so, shouldn't talk on the Bible if you can't defend the Quran on that, man. Manuscripts from the time of the prophet and from directly after. You the do time not of have any manuscripts from your prophet. With That's the a Bible, lie. I've heard different versions. I've heard fourteen. You do not have Christ. any and, and Quran I've from your prophet's seen time. The earliest, so, so, so Yemeni, it's not a complete yeah. Bible. It's, it's a credit card. Yemeni, I, I hear what you're saying, bro. Look, so so look, I hear what you're saying. My question is this, bro: What is the name of the manuscript that you have that goes all the way back to Muhammad? What's the name of this one? Al Quran, bro. It's, it's called the Quran. Everybody has. Okay, <laughs> let's let's try this again. See if you're listening. Let's you do, you let's said do the job thing. you he, you like, said what, what, what you guys are found to understand is like in, in all seriousness. Yeah, 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 this is tough, things. man. Honestly, bro. Just, just let me finish. Yeah, real quick. I, but I, I gave I gave you a chance, man. But honestly, that's okay. that's not a. Take it easy. Take it easy, man. Take it easy. When you kiss the black stone, say hi to it. Come back another time, bro. See you, man. When you kiss the black stone, say hi for me. It's a compilation. Population, yeah. All right. Wow. Secretary so, Smith. scale from one to ten. What would you rate? Uh, can I go like below zero? You can go. You can yeah. go below zero. Yeah. I'm gonna, gonna go twenty below go, zero though. Twenty. Okay. I was gonna go six hundred sixty-six below zero. <laughs> right. I'm not gonna do this because they wanted you to leash me. Hold on. I'm gonna play <clears throat> be your pet right here. Muhammad didn't like dogs either, but here, <laughs> when I'm gonna do this when you bring it over. You ready, guy? Oh. <laughs> 
Ow, ow. Please All don't, right, please, dude. my goodness. What's next? It's Friday night, guys. It's Friday night. All right, guys. So, <clears throat> but I recommend the same time. So, since we can't do this, uh, we just got a an idea. Maybe this is too tough, Sam. Maybe this is too tough. I don't tough. know, man. I can't stay on subject. By the yeah. way, I, this guy obviously hasn't followed your apologetics. He must be new for him to want to use John 14, 16 to show it's Muhammad. So I'm yeah. thinking people are coming on your TikTok have at least encountered your apologetics. Mm -hmm. And I've heard these arguments. But the fact that he mentioned John 14 shows he has no clue what you do. No, he doesn't have a clue what I do. And uh, honestly, you know. Um, but honestly, you'll be surprised. It'd be the, well, no, you wouldn't. You've been through this. Yeah. So the same guys who've been in conversations with us, <laughs> yeah. knows that I hang with you, so will still bring up these these same arguments. Yeah. That's it's that's not, how it is. is. Who's next? So we're, guys, we're gonna make it, make it fruitful, man. Yeah, we're gonna Please. we're gonna change it to something a little bit easier. Maybe this one's too hard. Yeah. This one's too hard. So we're gonna change it to something a little bit easier, folks. So just bear with me. We're going to change it to something a, a bit easier here. Are you sure? Yes. A bit easier, Sam. Because, Sam, this is too hard, man. All right, let's see. This is too hard. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to do this. Yeah, the one with the Quran thing. They couldn't figure it out. They couldn't figure the Quran. So when you stay with the Quran, he said tafsir. You want tafsir? And the Muslim says, oh, that's tafsir. That's, that's tafsir. You can't, yeah. Can't do that. So this is what this is what we're going, this is what we're going to do. We're going to switch it up a little bit. We're going to give them an even chance, Sam. All right. I believe that this one, oh, I think this one might get you. Maybe I'll get stumped. Who knows? Yeah, stump this, the chump. This one might. Stump the chump. I'm waiting for that to happen. All right, guys. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, that one? Yeah, that, that one. I'm going to get schooled right now. Yes. I mean, this is this one is easy. That's it. I'm, I'm done. This one is. That's over now. <laughs> the, guys, I think I got to leave, man. This guy set me up. I can't defend this. Jesus was a Muslim. Yeah, they're going to destroy me on that I one. I told you guys. I told you guys that I will be the one to bring down Sam Shimon. It'll be me. Stop the chump. Mr. If anyone Stop the chump. is going to take down Sam Shimon, it's going to be me. It's going to be me. Sam's manifesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, there are people take clips of me doing that. You know they do. And you know they're going to, and yeah, you just do, you're just giving it to them. All right, so here we go. I believe this might be easier. So, pious Muslim, come on up, and let's see if you can prove that Jesus is a Muslim. Well, you got a super chat, fifty bucks. Prove that he's Muslim. Yeah, give me one. Give me one second, pious Muslim. I I just gotta. I'm doing YouTube as God well. God bless I gotta, you. I got a super chat, man. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so another one. So we got one from Ralph, and another one from Lions Realm Productions. Productions. Sounds legit. Says there is nothing wrong with seeking approval. However, we must be careful whose approval we seek. We follow Christ and the approval that He prescribed for us. What's up? God bless we you. We seek His approval. I'm reading the scripture. I know, but you you already read it. Oh no, it's not done. No, I'm sorry. Jeez. I'm sorry. I was thinking Jesus is a Muslim. Oh yeah, yeah. See, he already discombobulated. We seek His approval because He is our approval. Before the Father, Matthew chapter ten, verse thirty-two and thirty-three. Oh, wow. God yeah, bless you. God bless you, uh, Lions Realms Productions. Thank you so much for supporting. That's all you guys. All you super chats. It's all. It's all counted and worth it by the grace of God. And the Lord reward you. Amen. All right, Pious Muslim, how you doing, man? Would you like to give it a try? Twenty-two hundred dollars on the line. You got twenty two hundred. Well, the funny thing is, bro, I actually came up here to talk about your other point, but you changed it after I had already requested. Well, hey, you know what? Quran if if, if you want to, if you want to touch on that, you're you're more than welcome, bro. Quran in the Bible. Go ahead. So you said that the Quran was missing in the Bible. That's that's what the Quran says, brother. It was. Okay, where? Hang on, give me a second, man. And I can prove that Jesus was a oh. Muslim too. Oh yeah, I'll, 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 I'll let you. I'll let you stay as as much as long as you want, brother. Did he? Did he submit his will to do the will of God? Which God? Oh, that's beautiful. The one true God. Who's that? And who's that? Yeah. The one. He's from according to Jesus. He said the Father was the one true oh, God. Oh, say it again. According to Jesus, he said the Father okay, was the one true God. Okay, now can you show God. me in the Quran where it says Allah is the Father of Jesus? I didn't say he was. No, hold on. Wait, no, 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 no. Don't, don't change the subject. Don't tempt it. You just no, said you Jesus said. So you're talking over. Yeah, you, you just, just said. Talking, you just Why? said. Jesus said, "The Father is the only true God." So I'm wanting to show you. Show me in the Quran that Allah oh, no, is the Father. The show that to me. 
We're talking about the Bible, though. No, we're talking of Jesus as a Muslim. And if he's a Muslim, that means his belief about God will be the same as your belief about Allah in the Quran. So show me where it says Allah is the father, especially the father of Jesus. Very simple. I don't got to go to my book when I can do it from yours. Give me, give me, give me, give me one second, fellas. I gotta, uh, I'm got about to restart this because yeah. it's a lag. So let me restart this. Stay right there, Paz. I'll be right back, all right? He's not getting it. No, he's not getting it. Yeah, hopefully he won't, yeah, he'll get it. These guys, man, they don't get it. Well, welcome to TikTok. Damn. I don't know how you do it, bro. <laughs> welcome to TikTok. Uh, well, so you know. I understand. Oh, look, look, look at you. Was me when I was a little older. Like, <laughs> Are we ready now? Let's yeah. see what this is. Is he still there? Oh, yeah, he's going to still be there. Okay, so. Okay, you there? Okay. Let's try this again. My Bible shows the only true God is the Father, which means all of the crowd is a false God. You're trying to prove that Jesus is a Muslim. When you went to Jesus saying the Father is the only true God, that means in my Bible, the God whom Jesus pointed to is the Father, which means that all of the Quran is Satan because he's not the Father. So are you sure you want to stick with the Bible? Because you just destroyed Islam. I destroyed nothing. Okay, can you show me the Quran where Allah is the Father of Jesus and your Father? Then it'll be the same God. Show it to me. Y'all don't have to do somebody lag. Y'all keep zooming in say? and out, bro. What do you say? Y'all yeah. literally like y'all y'all screaming and just go in and out. Yeah. Sorry, either the pause and the unpause, the pause and the unpause. No, so all right. So okay, just uh, hold on, hold on, boss. Go ahead. He's saying that uh, the the screen pause. Okay. Go ahead. And all right. Go. One more time. When you quote the Bible where Jesus says the Father is only true God, that's proof that the Quran is a lie and he can't be a Muslim because you're trying to prove he's a Muslim. Let me repeat why. Because if the Father is only true God, and yet the Quran says Allah is not the Father, that means the Father that Jesus preached is not your Allah of the Quran. Allah is Satan. So I want you now to prove to me that the Father that Jesus glorified in the Bible is your Allah of the Quran by showing me where Allah is your Father and Jesus is Father and the Father of the Ummah. I'll make it simple for you. Did Allah create everything? Yes or no? No, he didn't. That's all our point. No, According no, to no, Jesus, stop, Allah is a fake quiet. God. What are you not getting? Stop jumping and answer the question. Did Allah create everything? No, he, he didn't. Allah is a fake yes. God. What are you not getting? According to Jesus in the Bible, your God, Allah is a fake God. Yo, you, know, you, you keep saying this. You'd rather just throw insults rather than answer. I'm not insulting. I'm just telling you, according to my Bible, Allah is a fake okay, God. You want me to lie? Okay, it's the yeah. same God. Okay, can you show me that Allah the Quran is the God that Jesus came <clears throat> to do his will according to the Bible that you cited? I'm still waiting. No, because you asked me what you said the God of the Quran was false. I said, okay, in the Quran, is God the creator of everything? Yes or no? He's not the father of Jesus, so he's a fake God. He created nothing. I, I didn't ask you about No, I'm answering you. I no, he you didn't. Quran. He didn't create anything because Allah, Allah the Quran is a fake God. Okay, then that don't make sense, bro. You're making a logical argument. Yes, it actually makes perfect sense because you're trying to use my Bible to prove Jesus is a Muslim, and my Bible shows your Quran is a lie. So, so it's, all right. So, so Pius, listen, Pius, listen. So, remember when you was like, um, you know, didn't Jesus submit his will to God? We asked you, yeah, which God? You said he submitted to the Father. The one true God, right? Yeah, so the one true God is the Father, according to Jesus, right? That's fine. Okay. So is so now this is where Sam is is like trying to you know have you focus on when Jesus says that his father is the true God, is Allah the father of Jesus? Not in the sense you're speaking of, no. What do you say? Okay, not in the sense that you're speaking of. Okay, excellent. We're in the now. Here's a follow-up question, because that same father is the father of all believers in Jesus. So is Allah your father? He's the father of creation, yes. No, I don't want to ask you. And you went against the Quran. The Quran yeah, says yeah, he's a sure. father to no one. Is Allah your father? Father me. I say he's the father of creation. Give me the verse in the Quran where it says Allah is the father of all creation. Give me the ayah. Okay. Hang on. Give it to me. As as he's as he looks for that. So so guys. I see that you guys are saying that the lag is bad on TikTok. Um, YouTube also. Let me know if the uh, it says YouTube is good. Okay, so YouTube's good. You're watching it on YouTube. Yeah. So guys on TikTok, is the audio still good? 
Because I know that about the fans. lately, it's, yeah, lately it's, it's been that the image been pausing. But is the audio still good? Okay. So they're saying. So he's gonna give me the verse. Show me the verse where it says Allah is the Father of creation. Okay, guys, I'm I'm asking. No, he's he's loading it up. He can't. Um, by the way, Pius, we can't hear you when you're off the screen. Just to let you know. And please come come back to the screen because if you're gone too long, TikTok will. Uh, yeah, it's good, but it's in. lagging. So it's good on TikTok, but lagging. Uh, okay, so if he's on, we'll wait. All right, guys, this so is how is And then there. I'm going to show what the Father's will is. I can see here my connection. Right, right there, and even on YouTube? Mm -hmm. So what does that mean over here? It means that there's something wrong with my connection here, and it's been, I guess, going on for the past two days now. Okay, well, then that's probably the weather, too, right? The weather's been sucky here. Could be. All right, that's, guys, that's so that's say, we got to endure as long as the sound is good. Are you sure he's coming on or he's gone? Yeah, he's uh he's looking for the verse right now. Oh, he's looking for the verse. Yeah, okay. He's, looking he's for not the verse. gonna find it though. We, we know. <laughs> now, as he's looking for it, I want you to go to Mark three thirty five and Mark nine seven in your Bible because now we're gonna show what the will of God is. Okay, because he said, did he not do the will of God? Well, we'll see. Mm -hmm. so just have it ready, guys. We're waiting. Turn off Wi Fi if you're using it. Use your data instead. Wi Please. the Wi Fi is off, bro. Wi Fi off. What kind of data? Okay, the audio is acting up on TikTok. Okay. What's uh? What do you mean? You don't use Wi-Fi? Use data? What does that mean? No. So I was using t I was using Wi-Fi at first, yeah. and it was it was still tripping. So I took it off of Wi-Fi, and it's still tripping. Yeah. So it's, that so, means it's probably the kind of the weather here. It's messing things up. Put Mark three thirty five. Okay. Call it. <clears throat> oh, he left. He's not coming back. He got he got dropped by TikTok because he was gone too long. Okay. Now and then put semicolon, mm -hmm. and then put nine seven. Nine colon seven. All right, then well, we're gonna wait for him or bring someone up in the meantime. Uh, Come on, well, it's up to you. Yeah, Remember, we want you to show us that Jesus is a Muslim. We're gonna show what the will of God is from scripture because that's the passage he was alluding to. Guys, we're we're having internet issues, so it's not our fault. As long as the sound quality is good. Sound quality is good. All right, by the grace of God, by the the spirit. So you don't all right, where we go. We got it. Yeah, right we're here. waiting for him. We ain't gonna read it until he shows up. So okay. you wanna bring up someone else in the meantime. Let's see, he might be back. Okay, let's see. Come on, folks. Show us. Show us that Allah is the father of creation according to the Quran. Is that someone else? That's somebody else. Right. Muslim. Yep. Okay, uh, so I'm uh, gonna uh, prove that so. Jesus is Muslim. All right, go ahead. What's up, logic? What up, Mo? You brought up Sam yet? I brought up Sam, man. Sam decided to drop by. Yo, Sam, didn't you wait? Didn't you whoop your wife's oh, ass? No, 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 no. Wow. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Yeah, I was doing what Muhammad did to uh, Aisha. All right. PDF, uh, be upon him. Mm -hmm. These guys, they think they're um, oh, I got hurt. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, our feelings are hurt. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm becoming a good Muslim. I'm following the Sunnah. Mm -hmm. So you're saying the sin is trash, like your prophet? Well, I agree. Anyway, so uh, come on, guys. Show us that Jesus is a uh, Muslim. Yo, Lord. What up, Fly? <laughs> fly, Fly. Yeah, um, so I see the question is, oh, not the question, but the statement is proved that Jesus was a Muslim. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you not believe that Jesus submitted his will to the Father? We just went through that. Who is the God that Jesus submitted his will to? I wasn't here for that. Okay, well, I'm repeating. Who is the God that Jesus submitted his will to? What do you mean, the one true God? Okay, who is he? What do you mean, who is he? He's the creator. So no, so he's, you, he's so the you, Father. So right? you just you you said he submitted his will to the Father. Yeah, so, so the Father, right? The Father, right? Yeah. Okay, show me in your Quran that Allah is the Father of Jesus. What? Just because he couldn't have Father doesn't mean it's no. It just means father. that your God, but Allah, is not the Father of Jesus. He's, he's a fake God. He's only Show me in the Quran where Allah is the Father of Jesus. You quoted Jesus saying as he submits to the Father. I was Lord. saying, as I was saying. Yeah. Show me in Jesus the Quran language. where it says Allah is the Father of Jesus. Are we going to have a respectable conversation? Are you just going to keep interrupting? No, me? because I'm challenging you, exposing your lies. Give me the verse where it says Allah is the Father of Jesus. Why Don't tap hands. Where did I lie? Where, where, where does the Quran say Allah is the Father of Jesus? Because the the God that Jesus submits well, is the Father. It's I not your own claim. No, no, no. But I never made that claim. I'm trying to put words in my mouth. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. Did you, he not say you, he you, you said that Jesus submitted to the Father. You said that. Yeah, what it, how does that equate so, to his? So Jesus you're saying being? you're saying that God is the father of Jesus. You just acknowledge that. 
that's just what you call them. Okay, so, so why didn't, as, as, let me add this. You, so why didn't, why didn't, didn't hold on, why you didn't your prophet you. Muhammad call him that? Show me where your prophet said, then Allah is the father. Yeah, exactly. If you let me finish my point. Well, can you Jesus get the verses? Language, I don't want to hear a sermon. I want verses. Give me verses. No, you're the one that's giving a sermon right now. Can you give me the verses of the Quran? Please, please allow me to finish. Okay, get Thank to you. the verses. I'll let you finish. Oh, I don't want to hear you preach. You can can preach on Friday football. No, you don't want to tell enough preacher, man, man. Relax. Okay, then give me Take the verses. Count to ten. Count to ten. Count to ten. Okay, one, one thousand, two, two thousand, three, three thousand. Waiting to verse verses. Four, four thousand, five hundred. Where's the ayat of the Quran? Give me well, ayat again, of Quran. I already stated. I already stated. I did not make that claim. You, you're trying to make that claim. I did not make that claim. Okay, let me show you whose will Jesus submits to. Okay, you didn't make it. We're going to make it for you. You ready? Just go to Matthew 7, 21, 23. Let me show you. Whose will Jesus submit to? Well, like you didn't make it. We're going to, because you quoted what Jesus said, Matthew 7. And then we're going to give a couple verses because you said it, but now you backpedal. That's okay. 20, colon. Make it easy for everyone to line up the verses. 21 to 23. 21 to 23. Now watch here. Let's see who the God is that Jesus submits his will to. Now before you click it, semicolon. Mm -hmm. I know you're holding up that mic. I don't, I'm sorry. John 6. Okay. 38 to 40. Now, guys, he said Jesus is a Muslim because he did the will of God. All right, let's see. You're going to have to put a colon with the six. Okay. Yeah. 48. Let's see, because the God that Jesus submits to is not all of the Quran. So I'm not going to tell you who that God is because you went, you back up. Okay. okay. I'm going to read for you, okay? Matthew 7, 21, 23. Listen to who this God is. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father. The one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, do we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many? And I will tell, declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. Now, I just want to make sure you caught it. Whoever does the will of my Father. Oh, my, my brother, I'm not done yet. Hold on. The will of my Father? My Father. Okay, now what does Jesus say in John 6, 38 to 40? He tells us what the will is. Okay, now John 6, 38 to 40. Watch here. Mm -hmm. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. Now, who is that? And this is the will of him who sent me. Can you listen at least to the verses so you can refute me? That I should lose nothing of all that he's given me, but raise it up on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, the will of my Father, that everyone who looks on the Son and believes in Him should have eternal life. Now raise him up on the last day. So, who? Uh, the Son. Now my challenge is simple: since the God that Jesus submits to no, 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 is no, no, His no, no, Father, no, no, no. Let's, let's, is Allah the Father about? of Jesus? What does John seventeen three say? What the, that, that, that's that, even that, worse that, for you. <laughs> Okay, go to John 17. Okay, <laughs> that's going to be the Janaza for the Quran. Hold on, you said John 17, right? Okay, hold on. You guys, you heard him. He quoted John 17. Open up John 17. Yeah, please read it, bro. Okay, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show it to you. Okay, now let's read verses 1 to 3. Okay, watch here. Guys, he went to John 17. You got you to do that. Colon. Because that was, John 17, 3, bro. You know, we're going to read 1 and 2, bro, because 17 doesn't begin in 3, bro. Uh, Calm down. Don't run. Take it easy. That's a 3. You're going to 1 and 2. Why don't you relax, dude? <laughs> I know you're scared. Don't worry about it. Okay, now, guys, look at John 17, 3. Watch John 17, which he's scared to quote in context. When Jesus had spoken these words, John 17, verses 1 to 3, we're going to evolve through to 5. He lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father. He didn't say, Allahumma. Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son that the son may glorify you. Since you have given him authority over all flesh, to give eternally, eternal life to all whom you have given him. Now, verse 3. And this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Now, before he answers, in the context, who's the only true God? It looks like the Father sent. And Jesus Christ is who? The Son. That the Father glorifies? Yes. So now show me in your Quran, Allah is the Father of Thanks Jesus, and he glorifies me. Jesus. Let me repeat the question you're not listening okay. to. Show me in the Quran, one more time. Show me in the Quran, where Allah is the Father of Jesus, and glorify Jesus. Give me the ayah. We're waiting. Okay, so when I first came up here, I said the, the person you call the Father is the one true God, the creator of everything. And I, I then went on to say that in Aramaic, Jesus would have called God Elah. That, that was uh, you know Aramaic is my mother tongue, right? Uh, I'm going to school please, you on Aramaic. Please allow me to speak. Allow me to speak. Yeah. 
allow me to speak in arabic we've referred to the one true god as allah obviously he's not going to refer to that god as allah so i don't want to understand what you're okay what you're can i respond can yeah, I respond because you didn't answer the question number one my language is aramaic now let me educate you on how you try to pull a fast one on people because they don't know aramaic i speak Aramaic. Oh, yeah, please, can you stop please. cutting me off so i can answer you okay i'm going to speak aramaic please, for you i'm going to ask you to translate I just spoke Aramaic. Did you have any idea what I just said? Okay. Alaha. Now let me give you a little education in Assyrian. The word Allah is not Allah. Let me give you a little education about even your Arabic. Allah comes from two terms. El Ilah. Ilah in Arabic is the cognate of Allah. When you want to say <clears throat> the God in Aramaic, you say Alaha. Alaha, the definite article is at the end. Allah is not Allah. <clears throat> Allah is Ilah. Well, like when you say La Ilah. But secondly, that Allah is the father of Jesus. So I'm going to ask you again. Show me from the Quran. Where so, your Allah is the father of Jesus. Give me the ayah. No, no, no. Again, I didn't make that claim. So China is strong. Yeah, you're so, wasting your time. Does that my point about? So are you going to prove that Jesus is Muslim or still waiting? Oh, you, you've confirmed that he submitted his will to the Creator, the one true God. Which, no, we we confirm the one true God is the father the, the who glorified Jesus over that Muhammad. Let me try that's, that's the only problem. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's Friday. It's Friday. Hey, it's well, Friday. Cheap, it's Sunday, bro. So I don't know. Bro, what's going on? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. All right. So, so fly. Look. So, where where you got in trouble with this is the first thing that you said was that you said didn't Jesus submit his will to the Father? So right there is where you got stuck because you're acknowledging that the Father is the God of Jesus, who he submits to. No, he ran away. Yes, yeah. Yep. So yeah, but one thing, Muslims, do me a favor. Ran away, guys. Muslims, got out of here. <laughs> one thing before you go, Muslims, stop preaching sermons. This is not Juma prayer. It's not khutbah. Prove your point from your Quran and the Bible. Please stop preaching. I'm not here to hear you preach. If I want to hear you preach, I'll put on Zechariah and I'll get someone interpret the brother said the 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 the. Sucker and sucker chat. All right, who's next? Man? All right, <clears throat> let's see who is next here. All right, so we have a few folks. You know, in Chicago, there are two major gangs kings and folks, disciples. Mm. So when you say folks, that was disciples, and the kings would hate you. Mm. Right? I get respect in both hoods. Why are you telling me folks you want to get me moved on in Chicago? Uh, I was north side. We get, we get respect in both hoods, man. Man, you moving with you. Come on, man. It's logic. So, man. It's gone. There you go. Yeah, hello? Yeah, can you hear me? How you doing? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, good. How are you, man? I'm pretty good. Thank All right. You. Sorry. Yeah, good. Yeah. Uh, look, I'm not going to try to argue with you, obviously. I'm just going to give you two two points, all right? About Jesus being Muslim. Okay. So one, there's a verse in the Quran. I'm not going to um, talk for long. I'm going to be straight to the point. Okay. There's there's one verse in the Quran. You can search it up. It's called Surah Maryam from yes. 30 to 37. Yes. And you can read it. It says, Jesus, Asa, Prophet Asa, Prophet Asa, Alayhi Salaam, says uh, from Surah to 30 to 37. You can do your research on it yeah. if you want. Mm. Basically, yeah, we'll I'll address that in yeah. a minute. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, okay. Do you guys have like a computer next to you or something? What do you say? Say say that again. It's hard to hear you. Kind I of said, bro. do you guys have? Uh, that's okay. Do you guys do you guys have like a device next to you? You can search it up. Search up. Yeah, can Indian I adjust chapter nineteen? You want me to adjust chapter nineteen? Yeah, we're, we're gonna go point by point. Okay. You want me to adjust chapter nineteen? Okay. Number one. Actually, what the other guy said. Do you want me to wait, 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 hold on, hold on, look, look. So, well, we're we're gonna do one point at a time, okay? So you you mentioned chapter nineteen, yeah, verses thirty to thirty-three, right? And so we know these verses. Yes. Okay, so you're no, just 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 for the sake of uh, just for the sake of this, what what was your point again? Because wasn't really able to hear. What was your point again with those verses? Supposedly Jesus is a Muslim. And Jesus okay. is a Muslim in those verses. My point, basically, sort of maybe I'm thirty to thirty-seven in the end book, basically says Jesus Isa submitted to Allah. 
Okay, got it. So yeah. we're going to respond to this really quick, okay? Let us respond. So Sam, do you want yes. to give a response to that? Well, like, if he talks over you, I can't. So I'm waiting for him to see if he's going to listen. Okay, can you show me in chapter 19, 30 to 33, where Jesus says, I'm a Muslim? I submit to Allah? Yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, no, he right doesn't say that. Said, no, he doesn't say that. Yes, he does. Okay. If, if, says, if, if I read it to you, he doesn't say, will you get baptized someday? The word Muslim oh, is not there. Right? So if I read it now and he doesn't say I'm Muslim, you're going to get baptized Sunday and re renounce Muhammad? Okay, chapter 19, 33, Muslim, he doesn't say, I'm a Muslim. <laughs> Are you talking over me? If you talk, then don't waste my time. You're going to talk over me. Too. Chapter no, 19, no, verses 30 no. to 33. Read it for me. Right. And by the way, for those of you who don't know what he's quoting, this is quoting Jesus speaking as an infant, as a baby, supposedly. So the baby Jesus comes out of his mother's belly. So let me play the scene. Oh, I am the servant of Allah. Okay, show me where it says he's Muslim. Can you read chapter 19, 30, 33? Jesus declared. Can you read your Quran? Go ahead. Jesus declared, I am truly a servant of Allah. He has destined me to be given the scripture and to be a prophet. There's your proof. Yeah. No, he didn't yeah. say I'm Muslim. Are you hearing my question? Let me try. Let me try it again. Pretend submit, you're listening. Allah is Can you listen said, more than you manifest? I didn't ask you, show me where Jesus says I'm a servant. I said, show me where it says I am Muslim. Muslim. That word, is it there? If you said it is. If you're a servant of Allah, it means you're Muslim. I'm wasting your time. What are you on about? Okay, buddy, can you go? Then? It's time for Fajr prayer so that you can flush Satan out of your nose. So, do you see where he says I'm Muslim? There? No, it doesn't say that here. So, so let, but let, let's deal with this argument. Let's let's let's, let's deal okay, with this well, argument. Well, he's not listening. So, well, oh, so so look. So his point is, is that whoever is a servant of Allah. Is a Muslim. Okay. What, what's your response to that? Could My response is, okay, there? if you're now going to, because I'm trying to set him up, but he doesn't see it. Okay, so now guys understand why I'm asking the question, because I'm trying to set him up. Well, how am I setting him up? When the Muslims challenge Christians to show where Jesus says X, Y, and Z in those exact words, those exact words, we don't okay, show them. Why are you me. talking bro, over me, dude? Khalil, hold on a second, bro. Khalil, pretend you're the friend of Allah, your God, and just listen. So when we show them where Jesus clearly claims to be God without using the exact words, no, that's not good enough. When we flip the script on them and say, wait, wait, can you show me where Jesus is Muslim? Oh, no, but he said I'm servant, so it's equal. But here's what's ironic. Mm. The Quran does lie and say that the disciples tell Jesus we are Muslims. Mm -hmm. So if the Quran can have Jesus' disciples saying we are Muslims, why couldn't have Jesus saying it? Mm. You understand my argument now? Because mm. he didn't get it. I guarantee he still didn't get it. Mm. I, I can answer this question. Now, secondly, I, look, I just said simple look. I, okay, wait, now, wait, secondly, wait. buddy, are you listening? We don't care yes. that your Quran says Jesus is a servant of Allah. Our argument was show us from the Bible that Jesus is a Muslim. Did you forget that challenge? Oh, yeah, I can prove that, yeah, for sure. Look, I'm not sure, like, because obviously I'm not knowledgeable when it comes to the Bible, but this is verse in the Bible where it says Jesus prayed with his forehead to the floor. Well, that makes him a Muslim? I, yeah, because when obviously no, it doesn't. Because who did he pray to? Pray. Matthew 26 39. He prayed to Allah. No, he yes. didn't. He prayed to his father. Matthew 26 39. Father. So I want I want to Who's record his you. What's his name? Hold on. Khalil. I want you to I'm gonna take a clip and make you famous on TikTok and YouTube. I want you to say Allah is the father of Jesus, and Jesus prayed to Allah, his father. Say that. Jesus is Jesus. Is, uh, all right, how do I explain this properly? Okay, one more time. Let me repeat it because you, you got discombobulated. I want you to say, because we're going to make you famous, I'm going to get the clip, and I'm going to put you all over YouTube. I want the Muslims here to say Jesus, God is Allah, not Je Allah. No, I want you to say, Allah, Father of Jesus, and Jesus prayed to Allah, his Father. Say those words. I literally proved it to you. Right in the, in okay, the let me repeat it a third time because I, I think you guys don't listen. I want you to say, so people can hear you, because I want to make you famous, because I want to read the verse that you referred to, where Jesus, you say, I want you to say, Allah is the father of Jesus, and Jesus prayed to Allah, his father. Say that. You're saying J Allah is Jesus' father. He doesn't get it. Do you, okay. so, 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 do you, so the verse that you referenced. Wait, wait, what? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying to help what? you. I'm, try, I'm trying, to, trying to help you out a little bit. So the verse that you referenced, oh my God. Yeah, the, the ver look, look, the verse that you referenced where Jesus mm -hmm. pray, bows his head to the floor and he prays, 
He's yeah, tell he, us Muslims pray. When we're okay, okay. Well, so so, so in, no, look, yes. look. Can I read? Case, can can I read you the verse, Khalil? Listen. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show you why he's asking you what he's asking you. So this is what the verse is that you're referencing. It says, and going a little farther, he fell on his face and prayed, saying, "My Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but as you will." So according to the passage that you referred to, when he fell prostrate, who did he pray to according to this verse? In the Bible, it says Father, right? Beautiful. But in Islam, it, it, it's Allah. No, uh, okay, right, well, well, so let's, let's do with this now. So here Jesus says his Father, you're saying that that's Allah. Okay, so now this is the question okay. Sam's asking exactly. you. Yes. Is Allah the Father of Jesus? No, he's God of Jesus. That's so, wait, so, wait, wait, so, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say father. Okay. Allah, okay, good. So yeah, you, yeah. you wouldn't say father. So therefore, Jesus is speaking to someone who he says is his father. If Allah's not the father of Jesus, then Jesus isn't praying to Allah. You get right? it now? Okay, okay. I want to, I want to explain on you, right? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Before you try to explain it. Do you understand what I like? Do you understand the syllogism? If Allah is not the father of Jesus, listen, if Allah is not the father of Jesus and Jesus, according to the verse you went to, is praying to his father, then he's not praying to Allah, right? He is praying to Allah. No, he's not. Dude, so okay. so then Allah, just go ahead. Okay. Okay, Khalil. And by the way, I want to give a shout out to my boy, Asher Byram. Love you. God bless you and your little ones in Jesus' name. Okay. Khalil, listen. We want to record you. Khalil, please listen. Tell the genie to go away. Listen. We want to record you. I want you to say, I, Khalil, admit Allah is the father of Jesus, and Jesus prayed to Allah, his father. Say that. I'm not going to say that. But say it again. Jesus, God is Allah. Wait, wait. Say it again. Jesus, God is Allah. Okay, wait. Say it again. Jesus, God is Allah. Khalil, repeat the first part. You're not going to say it. Say it again. I'm not gonna repeat what you said. Thank you. You just proved that Allah of the Quran is not the father of Jesus, it's a false god. That's all we wanted. Thank you. You just made our case. So, what other proof do you have that Jesus right. is a Muslim? All right, so you know the, the other guy that joined before me, he was explaining how he's laying with his the other guy that joined Arabian. before him is explaining yeah, something. He was what talking you... about Jesus' language. Jenny, Jesus yeah, is what? Here we go. Now. Jesus is language, Arabic. Language, like Aramaic, Arab, Aramaic. Yeah. The, how, how do you know Jesus so spoke Aramaic? How do you know Jesus spoke no, Aramaic? Huh? He literally says it like right there. If you search, where? Like, okay. he, spoke it. He, he said it literally says it right there. Where? Where does it say that Jesus spoke Aramaic? Where is this at? Yeah, give us the verse because that's going to also be Jenna. It's proof. Yeah, it's going to be Jenna. Yeah, what's what's the proof that Jesus yeah, spoke says, Aramaic? Is how how you say God in his in Jesus language? It's Eleha. No, yeah, my, my friend, my friend. I'm I'm asking yeah. you. How do you know that Jesus spoke Aramaic? Okay, I don't know where I can find that proof. But okay. Search it up, it, it when you find it, Aramaic, Greek, let me make a comment. Like Greek, okay, Khalil. When you find it, let me know because I promise you that verse is going to prove Allah is a false god again. But coming back to the issue, that same Bible that you keep saying that it says Allah, it doesn't say Allah. Allah is not Allah, Allah in Arabic yeah. is Ilah. Are you listening or you want to talk over me? Let me give you it's a little. Shaking. Are you it's listening or are you going to talk over me, dude? I am listening. I okay, am okay. Listening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, when you say La Ilah, Ilallah, is Ilah the same as Allah? When you say La Ilah? Yeah, yes. Okay, yes, one more time. My name, my name. So then yes, you're Allah saying there is no Allah but Allah? You're a genius, you know that, right? There is no Allah but Allah, is that what you're saying? There's only Allah, there's only one. Okay, let's try this again. Pretend you're listening, dude. You're wasting our time. We're going to send you to the black zone. Listen, before you get sent him up. Okay. Listen, when you say la ilah illallah, the word ilah is not the it's same as Allah, right? Okay, explain to me how it is. Explain to me. The word ilah is not the same as Allah, right? It's the same thing. Okay, so it's now, genius. Like so let me translate what the genius just said. So they say, okay. there is no Allah but Allah. No, that's not what you're saying. You're not saying there's no Allah but Allah. You're saying there is no ilah illallah. There is no deity except Allah. Do I have to even break Arabic yeah, down for 
Okay, what does ilah mean? Ilah means Allah. Yeah, send it. Okay, fine. <laughs> when you see the black stone, kiss it for Jibreel, alayhi salam. Mm -hmm. right. Hey, man, you asked me to come on. <laughs> it's funny because, <laughs> it's funny because with this guy, you tried. You know, you 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 did try. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> when when <laughs> when you tried, and it just it just man, man, you, you tried. Up, you got fifteen hundred, homie. We we Lord got fifteen hundred. We got fifteen hundred. Yeah. Glory to God. All right, we'll bring up the next guest, man. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, I want you guys to let, let us know in the comment section when all of this is said and done who your favorite guest was. Okay. We're going to bring up the next guest. My boy just said, Asher Beimer, my boy just said, what up, Avery? It's one of my hey, best Hey, tell him I said what's up, Say man. Say cheese, Johnny, Ashuri. You know where he's from. We can't give our location out. Hey, Muslims, he's got nothing to do with this, all right? Come look up Avery. <laughs> look me up, man. All right, so we'll bring up the next Muslim. Here we go. Yeah. You ready? Yeah, boy. Man, you know, teaching me patience. Right? Yeah. Here, here. See, I'm being a good, good doggy here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Knock it off. Okay, Ugh, what a moron! Well, hey man, they yo yo. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, we can hear you just fine, brother. How are you? All right, so look, right? Like, I don't want to debate or anything. Like, I'm not. What you here like, for, then, man? We here to debate, man. I just want to ask a simple question. All right. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Take a shot again. What? Please <laughs> don't don't do that <laughs> next to me. That's so you. No, nah, just just like explain to me because like, I'm lost. All right, go ahead. Before, before Jesus, yeah. like y'all knew Jesus was the Son of God. Yeah, who was he worshiping? Before we knew he was the Son of God, what do you mean? Before we knew, so is Jesus God or the Son of God? And like, your okay, well, like, can I can I answer? If you're gonna be sincere, I'm gonna ask you a question. You ready? Wait, answer my question. Okay, first. can you stop manifesting? Because I'm gonna bury your question if you'll just be patient. Jesus is the son of man and man. So is he a son of man or is he a man? He's a man. Well, so he's not the son of man, though he called himself the son of man in the Bible? I, I don't I don't read the Bible. But you're appealing to the Bible. No, I'm asking like in your religion. And I'm using my religion to educate you if you listen and stop getting agitated thinking you're going to refute me. Jesus says he's the son of man okay, and he's man. Son of man and man. So... If I follow your logic, if he's man, he can't be son of man. And if he's son of man, he can't be man. So this is your logic. Jesus can be God in nature. You want me to answer? You want to talk over? It's up to you. Jesus can be God in nature and the son of God, the father, because we don't believe he's the father. So like he wasn't worshiping anybody when he be, became you know, he like did God. What? Whatever, like when he revealed himself as God. I didn't hear. I, he, he asked, was he, so he wasn't worshiping anyone before he revealed himself as no, God? No, before he became flesh, he would not have worshipped the Father as humans do because he wasn't a man. But if you mean worship, did he glorify the Father? Father, Son, Holy Spirit, they glorify one another. You want me to show you okay, from Scripture? So, I can show you that. Yeah, you can You can go ahead, man. Yeah. Now, what uh, you're saying like you're angry. Go ahead, man. Now, do you want me to show you, first of all, no, the Father? like see because like you know i i just want you to like to show me tell me what you want like, to show I, me. i'm not like i said in the beginning i'm not super religious oh i thought you okay. so thought i you're want muslim. you to like show me he's tell me muslim. he is a muslim mm -hmm. so what does it mean he's not super religious okay, okay. now you want you want me to like, show I, you where I, jesus I receives the, the like, same worship the father does is that what you're asking you, me? That? you want me to show you where jesus receives do you want me to hold that for you so you can do the verses? Yeah. Okay. You should have told me. Okay. Okay. You want me to show you? I don't think you can. Uh, sorry, I got it. You want me to show you that Jesus' worship receives the worship that the Father receives because he's God like the Father? Is that what you're asking me? Because what you're asking me exactly? Like, I'm just confused. Like, how? Like, let's say, let's put it this way. Mm -hmm. I go around saying I'm God. Right? Who, why would people worship me and not my father? Who said that it's either if or? my father created me. No, see, you, you're so confused. 
Stop telling us what we believe. Ask us what we believe, because that's not what we believe. Number one, who told you it's either or? Jesus says you are to worship him and the Father. John 5, 22 to 23. Right. Now I know what you're asking me, so now let me answer you. So learn our faith so you can understand it because you're confused. First of all, did Jesus didn't say, worship me, not the Father. No, you worship Father and Son. So pay attention. So if you're sincere, I'm going to answer for you. John 5, 22, 23. Right. Yep, it says, for the Father judges no one, but has given all judgment to the Son, that all may honor the Son, just as they honor the Father. Now, before you move on, pay attention. Let's see if you're sincerely listening. The Father who is God, how do you honor the Father? How do you honor God? You worship him. So you just proved Jesus said the Father wants you to worship Jesus because he said that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. So you worship Father okay. and Son. Got it? Okay. So did you catch it, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, one of yeah, the ways... I, I, yeah, I see what you're saying, yeah. Okay, but let me show you some more. One of the ways in which you honor the Father is you pray to Him, right? Mm -hmm. Now, let me show you. Jesus says you pray to Him too. John 14, 13 to 14. John 14, 13 to 14. Jesus says, whatever you ask in my name... This I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. So here Jesus says, when he returns to the Father, you will ask in his name, and he will answer your prayers that you offer him. In Islam, can you ask someone other than Allah in heaven to do the signs and miracles for you? What do you mean? If you're a Muslim, when you make dua, when you make invocation, can you ask yeah. someone other than Allah to do the miracles and answer your requests? No, you in Islam, you ask Allah for... Okay, you just proved like, Jesus claimed to be God because Jesus said, you ask me in my yeah. name, I will do it. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. So Jesus just claimed to be God by saying, you will ask me... When I'm in heaven, and I will answer and do the miracles for you, because that's the context. So Jesus just said, you give him the worship, you give the Father, and you pray to him. What more do you want from Jesus? Okay. Understood. Very good. Excellent. Any other question about I, Jesus? I just, wanted to, like, I just wanted to see, like, your perspective. That's, like, I'm not, like I said, I'm not here to, like, debate or whatever, you know, that's I'm fine. not here yeah, you're at, like, you're at, I just you're, want to see. You're like, asking good questions. Like, you're you're asking good like, questions. Everything's different, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm just curious. You're you're asking good questions, bro. Your questions are if, if they're I, coming I from a sincere place, I'm they're good. Like, yeah. like were y'all like a different like uh, religion, and then you converted, or like <clears throat> were you born Christian? Well, uh, I came from a Christian family, but uh, they didn't practice Christianity, and they didn't teach me Christianity. And my journey is long because I okay. dabbled into studying about Islam because a lot of people don't know this, but I'm going to share with you. In the 90s, I met someone who's part of the Nation of Islam. I didn't know anything about the Nation of Islam. I didn't know anything about Islam. <clears throat> That's Louis Farrakhan. So that got me curious. He gave me a Quran, and then I encountered Malcolm X, and I read Malcolm X's autobiography by Alex Haley. So I came under influence of Islam, but I also started reading the Bible. So that's my introduction to Islam. So I wasn't following Christ in my teenage years. Later on, I decided I wanted to be religious, but I got confused because I didn't know what to believe. And I didn't know about Islam and I didn't know about the differences because nation of Islam, they're not Orthodox Muslims. They believe Allah is a black man. All black people are gods. The white man's a devil, but I didn't know that. That's right. Even though they follow the Quran. So I found out later through Malcolm X, because when he was a member of nation of Islam, supposedly, Later on, he became Orthodox Muslim. So that's my introduction to Islam. And then I started studying. And the more I studied, the more Christianity was confirmed to be true. And the more Islam came out looking false. Yeah. See, like, I I'm still learning. You know, I'm only 16. You know, I'm, I'm still, like, learning. I'm, I'm in my, like, learning process. I want to know, like, the true path, you know? Good. What's your background? Are you Muslim background? 
Yeah, I'm, I'm born Muslim. Okay, yeah. all right. All right, good. Because, all right. So, but, all right. Fine. Well, keep such searching, keep studying, Frank. Or keep an open mind. And I, I, I go, you see, I go to Christian schools. So, like, I read the Bible most of the time, you know? Excellent. Excellent. You go there because you're at least being exposed to the scriptures. And read the Gospels. Read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. These are the accounts on the life of Jesus. And then you study Jesus' words. You study them, what he says and does in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Go back and read the Quran and you compare the two. You tell me. For example, I'm just going to give you an example. I have Jesus in John 14, verse 6 saying, Jesus answered and said, I am the way, the truth, and life. Now notice what he says. I am the way and the truth al -haq, and the life. He didn't say I point you to the life. I am the life. You want life? I'm it. You have to come to me. No prophet speaks like that, either in the Old Testament or even in the Quran. Now, but when I compare what Jesus says, that's just one, with what the Quran says about Muhammad, man, if I'm a Muslim, I'll be honest with you, and I hear the things the Quran says about Muhammad, I'd be shaking in my boots. Because in the Quran, Allah, because Muslims believe Allah is speaking to Muhammad, often rebukes Muhammad, chastens Muhammad, and threatens to kill Muhammad. You want me to show you that? You said Allah threatens to kill yes. Muhammad? Yes, threatens to kill him. If he makes up revelation and gives in and compromises, Allah will kill him. That's in the Quran. Unalive. What is it? Unalive. Oh, sorry. Unalive because of that. Okay, you want me to show you those verses? Uh, yeah, you can go ahead. Okay, show him chapter 69, 44, to 47. Watch it. Look at the difference to how Muhammad speaks, who's supposedly the greatest of all. Men, men, and with Jesus. Watch here. 69, 44, 46. <clears throat> Had the messenger made up something in our name, we would have certainly seized him by his right hand, then severed his aorta. And none of you could have shielded him from us. Can you show me anywhere where the father speaks this way to Jesus and threatens Jesus? The way he just threatened Muhammad, Allah did because he's not. We don't believe he's the father. Man, I mean, no, I can't show you. You know, I told you, I'm not very religious. Now watch this. Jesus said, "I am the way, the truth, and the life." Right. So he has yeah. no doubt. He goes, "I am the way." And even on top of that, he says, "I'm preparing a place for you in heaven." In John 14, he says. I go to prepare a place for you. Show him that. John 14, verse 1 to 6. Mm -hmm. So you can see the difference. Because we're going to show you the difference. So this is what Jesus says, bro. He says, let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself. That where I am, you may be also. And you know the way to where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you're going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So Jesus said, I'm preparing a place for you who trust in me. And you will be with me and the Father where we're at. No fear, no doubt. That's why it says, do not be afraid. Don't be troubled. But then here in chapter 46, verse 9, look what the Quran says about Muhammad. Say, I am not the first messenger ever sent, nor do I know what will happen to me or you. I only follow what is revealed to me, and I am only sent with a clear warning. So Muhammad says, I don't know what will happen to me or you. Jesus says, I know what will happen to you if you believe in me. I'm going to take you to heaven to be with me. So why would I give up Jesus and follow this? Why would I do that? I mean, I guess because it says that in the Bible, you know, follow your religion. No, the Bible says follow Jesus. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So, okay, wait, I have a question. So, like, what's the definition to Christian, like, Christianity, what's the, like, I don't know his definition to Christianity, what's the definition? Well, Christianity, Christian means Christ follower, follower of Christ, yeah. following what Christ has revealed, right? Yeah. Following Christ. So, is, is like Jesus not like human? 
Of course he's human, but because, that's like, the debate. Is he only human or is he more than human? I mean, I'm, I'm confused. Like, I, I just don't believe, you know, I don't believe that a human can possibly be God, you know? Can God become human without ceasing to be God? God is un, unseen. Like, you can't see God. But can God appear if he wants to? I, I don't know. Well, according, Maybe. well, if you go to your own Islamic tradition, we are told in certain, well, see, I don't know if you follow the Quran or not, but anyway, if you follow the Sunnah, I don't know if you do. Well, supposedly, <clears throat> Muhammad saw Allah and Allah appeared as light to him. He appeared as light. So Allah can appear visibly. And supposedly, Muhammad saw him as light. But that's in the tradition. That's not really in the Quran. So I don't know if you're a Quran only Muslim. Are you a Quran only Muslim? What about when he appears to the mountain? Yeah, that too. But there, there's a potential. Yeah. Is he there? Yeah, he's there. Are you Quran only Muslim? I didn't hear you. Our connection is tripping. I didn't hear you. My internet was lagging. Yeah, I say? said, are you a Quran only Muslim or you go with the Sunnah? Uh, I'm a Muslim Sunnah, yeah. Sunni. Okay, so in the Sunni tradition, your Sunni tradition, it says that Muhammad supposedly went on the Miraj, Al Isra wa Miraj, when he went to Jerusalem and went through the seven heavens and he saw Allah in Bayt al-Ma'mur and Allah appeared as light. So he saw his Lord as light. Then there are other traditions where he saw his Lord appear as a beardless youth. He appeared as a bo young boy without a beard. So these traditions say Allah can appear and has been seen. So the question for you is, can God appear visibly? Yes. So can God become man without ceasing to be God? Of course he can. That's what we believe he did in Jesus. We don't um, tell okay. God what he can and cannot do. He tells us. So when a Muslim says, well, Allah right. cannot become man, I say, where does it say that? Well, he wouldn't become man. Well, where does it say he wouldn't? Telling me he didn't is not the same as telling me he couldn't or wouldn't. Okay. Right? There's so, a difference, right? To tell me Allah did not become man, you're God. Okay. Allah wouldn't become man. That's not the same. Not becoming man doesn't mean he wouldn't be become a man, nor does it mean man without ceasing to be God. So that real question for the Muslims is, what does your Quran say? Allah, whom you think is the same God I worship, where does the Quran say? Allah could not become man without ceasing to be God. That if he becomes man, he's no longer God. What does the Quran say that? Uh, I, I'm, all I know is like, Allah cannot like be seen like, like you can't imagine Allah like as an animal, as a human, as a, a thing. You can't imagine him. Yeah, we're like, not saying imagine Allah like a creature. It's impossible to like imagine him. I didn't ask you that. I'm not saying imagining Allah like a creature. I'm saying can Allah appear visibly and if Allah wanted to become man, can he become man without ceasing to be God? Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, See, that's the thing. Think about it because there are verses, even the Quran, that Allah is appearing in creation and he's appearing in a tree. Read that from chapter 27. Is that what you're reading? No. What were you reading? 27, 7 to 9. Or, yeah, well, yeah, that you're reading something else. But 27, 7 to 9. Watch what the Quran says. Who appeared to Moses in creation, in time and space? Chapter 27, 7 to 9. Remember when Moses said to his family, I have spotted. Of fire, I will either bring you some directions from there, or burning or burning torch, so you may warm yourselves. But when he came to it, he was called. Blessed is the one at the fire, and whoever is around it. Now they did you a disservice. It's blessed is the one in the fire. Feed, but now pay attention. There's a tree that has a fire that doesn't burn it, and then the voice cries out, "Blessed is the one." who's in the fire and the one around the fire. And then what does it say? Glory be to Allah, the Lord of the world. And then to make sure it's Allah speaking, what does 9 say? Oh, Moses, it is, it, is tr it is truly I. I am Allah, the Almighty, the All-Wise. So my question to you is, here it's recounting the story of Moses going to the burning bush. And that fire was God. Here it says Allah. And Allah then says, blessed is he who's in the fire. That's Allah. He's in the fire. And blessed is the one who's around it. That's Moses. 
How can Allah appear on earth, appear in fire, as fire, if what you said is true? How can he appear as fire? Because that's what it says. He's in the fire, so he's appearing in the fire or as fire. Let's read it again. From. We'll, yeah. we'll read it one so, more time. So it says here in chapter 27, right, the Quran, verse 7, that Moses saw the fire, right? The burning bush. It says here in verse 8, when he came to it, he was called. Blessed is the one in the fire and whoever is around it. Glory be to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. O oh Moses, it is truly I. I am Allah, the Almighty, the Allahs. So how did Allah appear on earth in fire or as fire if what you said he cannot appear visibly? How does that work? Mm. Like I said, I don't know man. All right, well, study it. Uh, study it. Come back. Watch his materials, his videos. Fire. Right? So if he, like, appeared as fire, like, why would he, why would he, like, fully appear as a human? Why not? Like, just fully, like. Why wouldn't he? Like, why wouldn't he, like, fully be, like, I don't know how to explain, like, he, okay, he created the heavens and the earth and everything, and then he just decides to appear as a human? After Why not? he created the human? You're not making sense. If he created human beings and he loves them, he wants to remain distant from them. So if if God is loving, you want him to remain distant and far off, a stranger, and sends people to talk to you? Or would the greatest act of love be that God himself comes on your level and appears to you on a level that you can understand him? Which is more loving and merciful? Because your God is a stranger to you. You really don't know him. Because according to your understanding, your God never took the initiative of coming on a personal level to speak to human beings. He always sent someone else to do his work. Okay. But the Same God we serve, reason. the God we serve, he loves humans so much that he appears on earth visibly and he went a step further. And the son, who is one with the father in nature, he's not the father, becomes human so that he can be one of us to do for us what we couldn't do. That's the message of the gospel. But when you say why, well, I just showed you that in the Quran, in the Hadith, Allah is appearing visibly. He appears as light to Muhammad and Bayt al mahmur He appears in fire to Moses. And in other Hadith, it says that Muhammad saw his Lord as a young, a youth, I don't want to say boy, teenager, beardless. Okay. Uh, like I got a question, like one last question, and I have to go because like my phone is on five percent. Okay, go ahead. Charge it. Uh, the ahead. part, the part where it says Jesus, like wasn't he like a miracle, like like Mary, Mary, the Virgin Mary, wasn't she, like wasn't Jesus just appeared in her stomach, like in her stomach, whatever her womb? No, Jesus was there before he became man. Even your chronic reads. Oh. Did you know that? Okay. Your Quran agrees that Jesus was there before he became man, and he came down into Mary and became man. Now, if we want, go charge your phone, come. We can continue yeah. this conversation because I don't want your phone to die. Yeah, yeah I'm and I'll show you from the Quran. So come back, let us know. You know his name? Uh, but you know, like, it was, right like good, it was good talking to y'all. Like, well, come back. Like, we'll finish the conversation. Very, like, you know, educated and shit. But Shaq, we I'm say Shaq. Say what? Shat, not the other word, ship. We say shat. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> it's good talking to yeah, you come all. Come back. We'll talk more. May God bless you all. Have a good day. I don't know if like my phone is like, you know, right. I'm ready to go sleep. I'm not okay, ready. Okay, well, like, reach out to him so when he's live. I just popped up on my FYP. You say what? That's, that's because God is calling you. That's what I'm trying to say. Reach out to him when he's live. Or if I'm on a live stream, come. We'll answer your questions. It did popped up because is God is trying to get your like attention. Main on TikTok? Yeah. This is your main account? Yeah. Yes. Because I've seen like both of y'all just appear a lot on my FYP. So I, I was just like, you know, interested. Yeah. Good. Like for real, I was interested, you know? Because God is getting your attention. Like, you know, may God true. bless y'all. May God bless, God bless you. All. May the Lord Jesus reveal himself to you because he loves you more than you can imagine. All right, man. Y'all have a blessed night. All right. You too, bro. You too.
All right, brother. What's up? Well, we got more, man. If go you ahead, still down man. for more, all right. Man, what do I got to do? I'm gonna go sleep. Uh, yeah. I don't need beauty sleep. I'm a handsome beast. You all gotta right. let me know when you want. So we got a thousand on TikTok. We got uh, what? Fifteen over fifteen hundred on YouTube. Say watching, what? Hey, you got two thousand. I can't even get God. Them God is good. Man. Money. God is good. It's God is good. Uh, Lunch. Okay, come on. So Jesus was Muslim. We're still waiting for. We're still waiting for the proof. Thank you all for the super chats. I got to give you guys a shout out. Thank you guys, Christian uh, warriors. A Appy, I saw you. Uh, Sam, do you know who uh, Fawad of Dots is? No, I know. Fawad? Happy friends of Fawad. No. Hmm. He's, he's asking challenge, me to challenge. challenge. No, guys, can you stop telling us a challenge? People, most of them won't debate us. And they're not as important as you think. You make them important because they're in your head. So, Appy, get them out of your head. Yeah, I don't know who that is, man. Uh, but if he pops up, he's more than welcome to join a stream, right, Zach? Yep. We're, we're open to any of them to join us. I'm here, man. I mean, just, guys, please, don't preach. I mean, you know, you're, you're thinking it's Jummah prayer, it's khutbah, Friday khutbah. Get to the point. Give us the Quranic ayat and show us from the Bible Jesus is Muslim. We want you to prove to us Jesus is Muslim from the Bible. Obviously, we don't believe in the Quran. Because that we tell us, yeah, see, we Muslims are more Christian than you. Yeah. Really? Okay, then show us. Come on, show us from the Bible. We're yeah. waiting. All right. So somebody was feeling a uh, heartstrings pulled. There you go. Cool. Well, I'm like Marcos. Yes, yeah, so you're crying because you look too much in the mirror, Marcos. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but he was he was touched by that conversation. Sam, isn't it uh, amazing that something like that is? brings the the best the best quality of conversation yes because they're not here to mock or ridicule that you want to hear sincerely mm -hmm. and when he saw what we believed he at least tried to understand oh okay because mm -hmm. you see this is indication most muslims don't know their religion don't expect them to know christianity he didn't understand what we meant what do you mean god son of god mm -hmm. so we christians must know our faith to articulate it by the yeah. grace of god amen so we got uh josh who says praying for you and your daughter sam god mm -hmm. bless you too avery Nearly 2K watching. Yeah, yeah. Wage jihad on the likes, unless you secretly uh, Mohammedan. Yeah, guys, if you guys have not done this yet, make sure you hit the like button on YouTube. Guys, it helps the algorithm. It helps get the live stream out there. So um, and we might be able to break 2,000 people watching just on YouTube alone. If you guys all hit the like button, let's make sure there's more than 1,500 likes right now. It's gone. Logic. All right. So, and then we got a big bad. Kelly again. Kelly? Batman. Let me come work for you, Kelly. Who's Kelly? Kelly right here, this sister here. She, uh... Hey, sister, what's up? What's up? What, what, what? Am I what? Because I'm a Syrian? You're racist against the Syrians? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's this chocolate face, man. This is what does it. I'm telling you. Ebony she says, hi, brother. Ivory. I am so excited to see you two together. Hey, Please share this oh. with Brother Sam. <laughs> We love and appreciate you both. Absolutely. Now I gift it to this brother by the grace of and God. And I'm gifting it back to you. No, because you, I, you know, I have my own PayPal patron. God is blessing me. May God bless him. So we're all right. It's an honor to serve him. So that gift, sister, I'm going to give it to his ministry. That will be my gift to his ministry, to invest in him. So by the grace of God. Okay? Well, I ain't going to stop nobody from blessing Exactly. You. Now just pray that my love handles melt so I don't get liposuction. <laughs> then I'm going to have to put a GoFundMe page. <laughs> well, thank, you, funny. thank you so much, sister. I appreciate you. And then we got sanctified survival says, thank yeah, you, brothers, so. both for what you do, the trying your God. God bless you and keep you. Asher, right. have I gotten skinnier, Asher? Don't hate. Hey, you he lost weight, man. I saw it. He was showing me old pictures. He he lost a lot of weight. Yeah, man, so. We're proud of you, man. I'm proud keep of it you up. Too. Stay disciplined. Hey. Okay. That's that kind of, that's like uh, emotional trauma because growing up, they used to call me fat man. Hmm. Someone said Batman and Robin. So you don't want to bring up any triggers. Oh, no, Lord. All right. All right, guys. Let's bring up our next guest to refute. Sam Shimon or Brother Logic. Oh, uh, Lord. Are you ready for uh... What's going to happen here? I don't know. This guy's going to start cussing and assaulting. No, no, not that. But so, so lately, Sam, yeah. <clears throat> I have been coming close to actually believing, maybe not that Muhammad was a prophet, but that he was close. He was really close. Why, why, why is that? Because of Sahih Abu Kari 304. Okay. The one that talks about how what he sees who occupies hell the most. Oh, yes, yes. And why they occupy hell the most. Yeah. And I'm listening, by the way, you see this guy? He has a picture of me acting as a Muslim. Yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, okay, yeah, so what about it? So, so, you know, he says how, you know, women will, and this is talking about Muslim women, not Christian women, you know, but women will be the ones who are in hell the most. 
And it's because they are deficient in mind. Exactly. And deficient in religion. By the way, the verse of the numbering system he's going by, he's going by the newer numbering. And when it, uh, Bukhari originally came out uh, by Muskan Khan, they went by a different classification. So mm -hmm. when he says 304, that would be the updated version. So so how does that make you feel like Muhammad is close now? I don't get it. Because lately I have been getting a lot of Muslims, a lot of Muslim yeah. participants. Yes. Like who? Um, and, and so every <laughs> time. So I see what you're saying. Yeah. I see where you're going with it. You're like, you're thinking, man, Muhammad was right on that. He one. was, he got that. Damn. Damn. And he was under something. You're shaking me, he was, sister. He was under something. You're shaking me. You're yeah. confirming Muhammad is true. All right, bring her up. Okay, here we go. And now, listen, I want, to, I want you to know, I love you, Sam. Okay. I have to do this to you, but I do love you. You hear me? Okay. Okay. Okay, okay you're going to torture me, right? Give me yeah. a taste of the afterlife, the pain I'm going to feel. Oh, uh, she didn't want to come. She, why, why she, why what happened, girl? What happened? What happened, girlfriend? Uh, you can't let me build it up and then and no, then blank right, out. Come me, girlfriend. Come on, Aisha. Aisha. Okay, oh, All right, so let's see here. All right, we got Salam who would like to come up. All so right. he's coming with peace. All right, let's see. All right, prove Jesus was a Muslim. We're waiting. Oh, let me check. Can anyone prove? All right, so he's legit. He do it. He is legit. Oh wait, hold on. The sister came back. Sorry. Oh, she did? Sorry, man. We gotta let you all go. She's back. Yeah, she's back. Bring her. Oh. Up. Bring her. Up. Hey, Salam. You'll be next, okay? Yeah, hello. You, yeah, yeah, so you'll, look, be next. You'll, you'll be next. There was a sister that was before you, but she disconnected. So okay. we'll let her up first, and okay. then you'll be next, okay? Okay. All right, brother. So just I'm, I'm going to drop you down, but just request again. Okay. All right. All right. Where's her name? Her name? Right here. Bell. Oh, here we go. Ring my bell. Hi. Hi. How are you guys? Hi. Hi. How are you? I almost see this guy on YouTube. Oh my god, I'm actually talking to him live now. Yeah, like, you, 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 you yeah, don't speak too fast. You speak too fast for me. Slow it down. You made it, Bill. You um, made it. Yeah, I almost see this guy on YouTube. He'd be pressing all the Muslims and shit. And I mean, language, yeah. language, language. You get, you gotta get me banned. Sorry, it's okay. It's okay. But are you ready Sorry. to refute Sam Shimon? Yeah, I wanna, I wanna, um. I mean, I know he's gonna come up with his his indoctrines and you know his ideologies and stuff. So don't worry, I mean, I'm I'm confident in you that you will shut this man. Please, You're shut gonna be up. the one. You're yeah, the one shut today. Me up, please prove mom wrong. Okay, yeah. So ma mainly, Jesus is a Muslim because he was mentioning the Quran so many times by Allah. He what? Right? He was and mentioned he was, in the Quran so many times. Quran, so much times by Allah. <laughs> Yeah, okay. and also he's he's mentioning the Bible, he's mentioning the Quran. It's, it's not two different Jesus, it's the same Jesus, is you it? know. Islam is, a con Islam is a continuation of faith, right? Mm -hmm. It's not something new, it didn't happen on its own, it's a continuation of faith, mm. just like how you know Moses continued and then had you know, they had like Noah, Moses, whatever, they all continued, right? The faith, so yeah. Islam is continuation of the faith, right? Right, okay. And, and, Jesus, he submitting he's yes, I'm going to say that again. He submitted himself to Allah. He called God Allah. Yeah. Let me explain why. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you, Where did he call God Allah? He called God, he called God Allah. Allah or Allah? Bible, so I, am I going to be able to engage you or are you going to keep preaching? Language. It's the same sem sem uh, semantic I, language. Can I answer? You're going to keep preaching. So that's what I mean. Let me explain to you why it's the same. Wait, 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 Bell, Bell, wait, wait, Bell, Bell, listen, listen, Bell, look. So you made you made like six points straight off, you know. So we we let you cook. You got you you gotta let us you gotta let us jump in. You know what I'm saying? I know you guys were gonna gonna say because I've I've been here for a while. I've I've been hearing what. Okay, all right. So tell me, tell me. Bell, you heard what we said, right? Explain to him why. Bell, you heard what we said. Yeah, you, you guys so then why didn't, you, why didn't you respond to our points about the very things you raised that were already raised, we responded. When you said Jesus submitted his will to Allah. Where is that in the Bible again? Well, he prayed to the Father. Say it again. He wait, 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 wait. Say it again louder. In the Bi in the English Bible, they, say, they have the word Father. Right? Okay, so is Allah like your Father, Bell? Wait, Bell, is, this, Allah, this is, is Allah your Father, Bell? 
Let me let me explain something to you. Is Allah your father? The, the Bible is written in English. Okay, this you want me to give you the Greek word for father? You want me to give what? you the Greek word for father? And also let me tell you, the Quran came to correct that. Okay. The Quran came. The Quran came and said, Bell. Do not call me father. Bell. Do not call me Bell. Tree. Bell. Yes. Stop preaching. Stop preaching. Yeah. You want to engage or you want to preach? I'm engaging. Okay, so you just said Jesus prayed through the Father, right? That's what the Bible says. Okay, so now Bible I want said. you to say, Bell, before the genie starts manifesting, I want you to say, Allah's my Father. Say that. Firstly, the Quran corrects us and says how he is not Okay, I didn't ask you that. I asked you, can you say Allah's my Father? No, because the Quran tells me, do not call him okay, Father. Okay, say it again. What did the Quran tell you? The Quran told us, do not call him father. Thank you, he you are honest. Okay, take something. it easy. Yes. So this is why when we challenge you, show us from the Bible, Jesus Muslim, you just admit the Bible condemns the Quran as fake, which is why you say the Bible has changed. So you lost that debate. Okay, moving on to my next point, since, since that is your explanation, moving on to my next point, right? Muslim means submission to Allah, okay. right? Yes. And and Jesus, he submitting himself. He submitting submitted himself to who? Allah. Wait, wait. Right? Who's the Allah himself. of the Bible that he submitted to? He calls. He, what did he say in the Bible? Illa, Illa. No, okay. Who is like, who is the Ila God that he Ila submitted Ila. to? Well, the English has has it as Father, or whatever. Okay, say it. Well, no, hold on. Father. Take it easy. Don't run. So the same Bible you quoted says that Jesus submitted to God, who's the Father, right? So I want you to say, that's, what the Bible says. Uh, but that's the whole point of the debate. Prove from the Bible that Jesus is Muslim. You're attacking the Bible, which means well, you firstly, can't. So, Bell, listen to my question. Bell, listen to my question. I want you to say to everyone, I want everyone to hear you. Like Jesus, I submit to Allah, my father. I submit to Allah. No, Allah, my father, and the father of Jesus. Say it. We do not call Allah Father. He, you he just again proved the Quran is fake. Well, thank you. You just proved the Quran is fake, and the God that Jesus submit to is not Allah. Good job, Bell. Okay, You're two so, for okay. two. Okay, let me finish. I didn't even say anything. I yes, didn't say anything. I said, said too much. Oh, he's not the father. He's not the father. But, but Jesus said he is the father. No, the, 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 chance, the people who wrote the Bible said that. No, okay, you, the Bible that we're yeah. asking you to oh, prove Jesus yeah, is a Muslim. Yeah, Jesus. Okay, Bell, do you understand what the challenge is? Or you, you're pretending you know what the challenge is? What's the challenge? I have more points to bring up. Okay, before you that go to the next time. point, what's the challenge, Bell? What's our <laughs> challenge? <laughs> From what <laughs> book? From what book? From a man-made book. That's what okay, you so do from this man-made book, do you agree this man-made book just proved that Allah of the Quran is not the God mentioned in this man-made book? What? Okay, one more time. I know he's excited. I'm going to let you speak. But one more time. Do you then admit that according to this man-made book, the Bible that's man-made, which is the mm -hmm. test, show us from this Bible, he's Muslim, do you now admit that according to this man-made book, then the God revealed in this man-made book is not out of the Quran? This okay, so like we definitely believe that some of some of the words and the verses from the Bible <laughs> is true because it has some truth to it. But then man, man, like you know when they kill Jesus, you know they also destroyed his scriptures too, right? Okay, now they Bell, just kill him Bell, and, and leave the scriptures. Bell, the they part of the Bible that the says Bell, the part of the Bible that says Jesus called God my father. Is that corrupt or uncorrupt? The father part, yes. They they it's definitely the father part is what? They definitely add in that. Okay, so they corrupted it. Okay, Bell, thank you for losing the debate. So that's all we want. I have more, I have other points. Okay, go ahead. It's okay. I'm having fun, man. All right. Keep going. She's a cure of insomnia. All right, keep going, Bell. You got three. You got you're on point number three. Go ahead. Right. Ila and Allah are cousins. Their language, their cousins. Oh, they're cousins. Ilah and so Allah has a cousin. Okay, good. Allah has a cousin relative. Language. The language are semantic to each other. So mm -hmm. Ila and Allah, it means the same thing. The Does it? Out, let, let, me, let me explain Don't to you. Just this yeah, let, let her explain, Sam. Stop running. I, I got you, Bill. Stop, yeah, he's gonna, stop it. 
Go, so, go ahead, Bill. Get him. So L, L, the mm -hmm. root word L, yeah. means all powerful. It means powerful. Even right. In the Hebrew language, L means all powerful. L means now, all powerful? Okay. Al, yes. Nice. The root nice. word means powerful. It means powerful. Got it. Now, right. So when he used Allah, Ila, mm -hmm. in both Hebrew and Al, in, in, in English, and I mean, in both Hebrew and Arabic, is the same root word. Oh. Now, for example, in for for example, in the oh. um in the Torah, right? The Torah, huh? It says, yeah, it says how no, no, there shall have no other gods before me. What's the word and for in, gods in, in there, Bell? What's the word for gods? What, what they use is they said lay lay ila ka ilahum ka me something so right? Elohim, they, they Elohim, use the right? Word yeah. la. They use the word ila here. So no, he didn't use Ila. No, he didn't use Ila, Bell. Stop it. Ila, Bell, <laughs> take it easy. Take it easy. Exodus 20, I verse 3. Really Bell, can I, I respond or you want to preach? Okay. Yeah, go Exodus ahead. 20, verse 3. says, you shall have no other Elohim besides me. So, Bell, let me show you the mistake you made. Bell, you want to hear yourself? We can mute you. You can talk to yourself. Or you want to hear what I'm about to say so you can respond. Yeah. Okay. yeah. The saying. very Bible that you quoted, the word Ila or that's Aramaic, but il, Elohim, it's used throughout the Bible for many beings. For example, let me give you, let's take it easy. In Judges 16, 23, it says, the Philistines worship Dagon as their Elah, Elohim. So if I follow yes. your logic, mm -hmm. so you're not listening, though. Repeat what I said, though, to see if you're listening. Repeat what I said. Yeah. They use the um the deities and they said Elah, and oh. then Allah. Then, so then is Dagon... Dagon, the fish god, your Allah? It's the same thing that we say. We say la, the same thing that they say. Yeah, la ilaha, my we say la ilaha. We say la ilaha. Bella, well, the way you're going, I don't think you're going to get married anytime soon. So, yeah, the same thing. Okay, Bell, is Dagon your Allah? Who's Dagon? I just see. This is, I, you were. No, he's okay. Dagon is not my Allah. Bell. If the Muslims hear you, they're not going to marry you. They're going to lock you in the house because they want a wife that's just like a dormant. Right? Okay, come back. Bell, Bell, for the love of your yeah. love, for the love of your love, please listen. The word ila, il, Elohim, they're used for many gods and goddesses that's, that's mm -hmm. not the true God worshipped by the Israelites. An example, yeah. Judges 16, 23, if you listen, Judges 16, 23. In Hebrew, it says the Philistines, they worship Dagon, their Elohim. So the Elohim of the Philistines was a god called Dagon, the fish god. So in Arabic, you would use the word Ilah or Allah. So in Arabic, Dagon will be called Ilah. Does that mean that Dagon is your Allah? No. Okay. Because now, the word can is I make the second one? Okay, take it easy, take it easy. Okay, now in the New Testament times, at the time of Jesus, New Testament, this man-made book, the words used for the true God were also used for Zeus. For example, in Greek, the word for God is Theos. The Greeks called Zeus Theos, and in Greek, they called God, the God of Jesus, Father, Pater. Zeus was called Pater. In Arabic, you would call Zeus Ilah, Ab Ilah, Father God. Mm -hmm. Does that Ilah, mean Ilah. that Zeus mm -hmm. is your Allah? No, it's not. My, okay, my that, thank you. Not, not thank you. Thank you. What's my point? Just because the Arabic Bible or the Aramaic will call the Father Ilah, Allah, or Jesus Ilah, Allah, doesn't mean... Your all of the Quran is the God we worship. It's not the same God. So stop using this term. Okay, then. How come we have the same? How come the Bible and the, the Quran has the same prophets? We all have the same prophets. Because Muhammad was a thief. Joseph Smith also he has the same thief. prophets. He was, he was, you guys just don't like the guy because Joseph he has Smith, your same. Joseph um, Smith. Bell. Joseph Smith, who started the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. He also has the same prophets. He follows the same prophets, but he claims to be a prophet after Jesus. So shall I follow Joseph Smith? No, but the Quran proves to us that it's from God. So, so we, we must to us it proves God. that it's from Shaitan. No, how does how does it how does you it? You want to change topics? Up to you. What do you want to do? It's up to you because she's not going to block the Quran. My, my point is, 
Wait, Muhammad submitted to the God of Abraham. Muslims, no, he didn't. He Joseph to Smith Abraham. did. Joseph Smith su submitted to the God of Abraham, and he came in the 1800s with the Book of Mormon, and he claimed the angel Moroni came to him, and he says, God is the Father, Jesus is Yahweh, and the Spirit is God, three gods. We can become God. So he is the true prophet, okay. not Muhammad. Okay, so he preaches, he preaches the same prophets, like he, he teaches the same stuff like yo. So yo, yo, so the problem with you guys is that y'all are upset that Muhammad came and said that Jesus was not crucified. He no, was taken actually, up. Can, I Bell? Bell, can I correct you, Bell? Can I correct you? Bell, can I correct you? Either yeah. you don't know about Islam or you're lying to me because there are Ismailis, Ismailis mm -hmm. who are Muslims who follow Aga Khan, who say that's a lie. The Quran doesn't say Jesus wasn't killed. It says he was killed by crucifixion, but he's alive. And these are Muslims who say this. They're called I Ismailis. Can, I can show you in the Quran. I what? can show you in the Quran. Where, no, you I can. can show you in the Quran no, you where can. Allah says that he he no, has you can. replaced Jesus Surah with Surah Amanda. Surah Bell, Amanda. Surah Al Nisa. 4157, that verse that you're quoting about they neither killed them nor crucified them doesn't mean what you think. But what about Surah Al Maida? It says that Jesus, he was he was not crucified. That's not right? Surah Al Maida, right. Surah Al Nisa. I just told you the ayah, Surah Al Nisa, okay. ayah 157. You're saying, you're saying it's not what I think it is? You're saying that the Quran say, is saying something that I, I don't think it's that? I'm not saying, saying it, the Muslims are saying it, the Ismailis. They're Muslims. Muslims. They say Shahada. Muslims are saying that Jesus was crucified. Yeah, they That's say that saying? he was crucified. <clears throat> so the to be a Muslim is to, is to not believe in that. So how can they call themselves Muslims? What do you mean they don't? They saying they're misinterpreting the Quran, young lady. No, that the scholars, the scholars, and every Muslim know for sure. That no, Jesus not every Muslim knows for sure. Okay, let's see if that's true. That every Muslim knows for sure. All right. So yes. now, who did who did who died in the place of Jesus? Well, the Quran says that Allah has appeared, replaced him who? with someone else. Who was it? To make it look. Well, I don't know that. Okay. Neither but does I Allah. Can, can, Allah doesn't what? know that either. How do you know this enough? Allah knows every single thing. He doesn't have to come and be a man and and have human. Don't change emotion. the subject, Bell. Stick and with the crucifixion. You want to? Okay. So you're telling me, let me understand so everyone hears. You are a Muslim, you believe that Jesus didn't die on the cross, but Allah made someone look exactly like Jesus had had him die? Let me find a verse for okay, you. Okay, I know. So I just I told you the verse. Surat so Nisa. I can see the card. Bell, if you listen more than letting the genie tickle you, I gave you the verse. It's Surat Nisa, <laughs> chapter 4, verse 157. My goodness, man. I'm starting to think Muhammad's right about you women. Okay. Surat An Nisa 4 157. One, I gave you the ayah, so I'm asking you, are you telling me when it says the Jews say we killed the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, the apostle of Allah? They neither killed him nor crucified him, but it so appeared unto them. Are you saying that uh -huh. Allah made someone look like Jesus and had that look like kill, not Jesus? That's what, that's, yes. Okay, wait, wait, again, what, music to my say it again, what, say it again, what? Yeah, Allah, Allah said in the Quran that he replaced him with a man that- Okay, now, can I ask you a question? How cruel and wicked is your God to have someone else look like Jesus and have him killed, deceiving people because to thinking that God, Jesus. We love, we love Jesus, and Allah, he loves okay, let's, Jesus. Okay, you didn't answer my question, Bell. Bell, even in the Old Testament, Bell tell that Jesus genie, leave you alone. Genie, leave, him, leave her alone, genie. Audhu Billahi Muhammad Shit Rajim. Bell, listen to my question. Bell, listen to my question. Bell, listen to my question. Yeah. You're telling us your God is so cruel and wicked that he made a man that's look exactly. Can I make finish my point for the love of your genie who wants to marry you and have children with you? Okay. You're that's telling us your Allah. David Muhammad was right about you when he said you women are stupid. Okay. That's Muhammad. To blame him. Can I finish the point before I quote Muhammad saying you're stupid and you need to shut up? Okay, can I make my point? Can I make my point? You're telling everyone, you're telling everyone that Allah made a man look like Jesus so that when they saw him, they thought it was Jesus and had him kill, which means Allah deceived people and Allah is a murderer because he had someone else killed, not Jesus. And you want us to respect your God? 
Yes. Oh, so admit it. All right. So, Belle, why don't you go tell the genie it's not time for us to play patty cake because we went off topic. Okay. Just make sure, remember, <laughs> it's haram. Belle, hold on. It's haram for you to marry a genie and have children with a genie. So, rebuke I don't him. Know why do you think that I have a genie? Because, just because. Oh, so just you don't have a genie. Know. You just manifest naturally. So, you're not majnoon. No, I am just upset that you guys are coming on here okay. on attacking Islam. Oh, so when the Muslims Islamics. come on TikTok and attack Christianity, that's okay, you narcissist? We, we never used to do that before until you guys started. No, never. You're innocent. No, innocent. Yeah, because the Christians are the ones who told Muhammad, we don't like you and we're going to enslave your women and children. It wasn't Muhammad. It's all our fault. We are the bad guys because Muhammad is not the narcissist. Tell that why genie, go, tell that genie, Bell, it is haram when? for you to talk to a genie who's not related to you. He's not mahram. Not, you're an aura. Excuse me. Sir, I don't know what assumption you're making about a genie and stuff. Genie Let me just tell you something. Your, your prophet says that the genie can make yeah. with women. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. I'm telling, okay, by the way, Bell, before you leave, you before you leave, because we're going to go to other people, I want to ask you honest question. That's true, though. Bell, if you don't, if you don't feed before you leave, leave Bell, before you leave, stuck for Allah, someone's going to ring your bell, all right? They're going to be 436. Jim's going to attack you. Okay. Bell, you don't wash up, before you leave, you. Bell, before you leave, when you got up to do Fajr prayer, did you start water in and out of your nose three times? Yes. You Say it again. I did. Okay. Did, so I did Satan go. come out of your nose when you did it? Salem? No, Satan. Did he come out of your nose when you did it? When you clean yourself, your body's a temple. No, that's not what I asked you. Satan, he came out according to your prophet, listen, Majnoon, crazy. Listen to the question. Your prophet in Sayyid Sa Khulkhari, Bukhari said, Satan stays in your nose. And you got to flush him out by putting water in and out of your nose three times. So did Satan come out of your nose? If so, was it the right nostril or left right nostril? Which nostril did he come out? Yeah. Yes, I think um, when we make wudu, we cleanse ourselves of the jinns. Okay, so did Satan come out of the right nostril or left nostril when he put water in and out of your nose today? I don't know. What are you asking me? Because Muhammad said that's why you put water in and out of your nose three times. Because he stays in the nose, you got to flush him out. So did you flush him out? Okay, man. Well, yes, I guess I did. Since, oh, so you did flush him out. That? Now, yes. what since was he? he that, that, did he come yes. out like? Hold on. Did he come out like a big booger or a small booger? <laughs> we can't see Shaitan. Our eyes are not. Um, oh, so you couldn't see him coming out of your nose, but did you see the boogers coming out? Maybe those were his seed. Anyway, let's get back to topic. What Can I we give say? other people a chance? It's up to you. I mean, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll come back right. to you. I promise you. Let's give up. Hey, hey, Bill, thanks, man. You know, you know, I, you know, I always appreciate you. Salam, salam. Salam, salam. Salam, salam. My goodness, you don't stop, man. Damn. Woo. My goodness. Now, now, you're not mad at me or anything, are you? No, actually, she made me laugh. That's what's shocking. Yeah. Yes. So I, I, I told you. You know why she made me? Because she honestly admitted, okay, yeah, I flushed Satan out. Mm -hmm. She didn't try to explain away. She goes, well, we can't see him. He's invisible. At least I respect that. She was you can't see him, but you can push him out your nose. Yeah, with water that you yes, can't see. For sure. You can see the water, can't see the same coming out. Mm, my God. That's Some about water, dude. Man, we got 30 people trying to get in this right, thing, right, man. man. All right. So let's see here. Uh, oh, man. Let's bring up this dog here. Mike, don't let me give you a piece of my mind. My, Mike, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What, are you, what are you doing here, Libby? Shut the fuck up. What are you doing here? Get out of here, you dog. Get out of here. Pig. You pig. Get out of here. Uh, just uh, he, this dude. <laughs> no, he's actually using the love language that she had to do with his mother. Yeah. This, this dude, he's a, he's a Muslim, uh, a coward Muslim on this on this platform. Uh, tries to he only hides on Muslim lives. Never comes to the to the uh, Christian streams. And, and just cusses us out and stuff like that. No, but he was reciting what the Shia say to his mother when they do muta with her in Iran. Mm. Right? Yeah, I've been muta. Mash Yeshua. Mash Yeshua. All right, next guest here. And Libby knows much better than to come in here, man. All right, Salam's back. Yeah, that's right. Salam was next. All right, go ahead. Salam comes with the peace. Salam, I'm a C. When did Sam get so good looking? I don't know. Pray. And peace be upon those that are seeking the truth. So that means no peace on you because you're not looking for the truth? 
I am looking for the truth. I have a question okay, for you. Okay, then good. Yeah. Okay. Now keep on the subject. Yes. I know you guys want to run from the topic. Prove Jesus was a Muslim. What is your intention? What is your intention about this debate? Our intention is that you can find the truth that you claim to be seeking, so you won't be misguided and follow Muhammad, because he's not with Jesus. But can you get to the point? Yes, I'll get to the point. One show, me, show us from the Bible, Jesus is a Muslim, please. Okay. If if you are after after the truth, how okay. truthful are you? Can you get to the yourself? topic? Show Jesus was a Muslim according to the Bible. We're not here to hear khutbah. I'm not giving khutbah. I'm asking okay, can you get to the okay. topic, friend? Jesus okay. was a Muslim. Show us the verse in the Bible, please. Go ahead. Wait. I'll ask you a question. Yeah. According to you, Jesus was a Christian. No. No. Email verse no he wasn't Jesus. a Christian. No. That shows your ignorance. No, he's not a Christian. Okay. What does what does a Muslim mean? You tell us. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Okay. A Muslim means somebody that submits his will to God. We're going to start which, this again. Huh? We're going to start it over again with everyone. Which which God, my friend? Which God? One yeah. God. But who, who is that one God? Who is Zeus? Zeus? He is no, not not Zeus. Then who is he's, a, he's he's your creator and my creator. All right, let me ask let me ask you this. Who's your creator? Yeah, yeah. yeah let, let me ask you this. If I if I submitted my will to the statute who I said is the one God, who I believe is the creator of the heavens and the earth, am I a Muslim? No, because God is not physical. Okay, so so okay, so your concept of God is not physical. Oh, hold on, I wanna, wait, wait, hold on. Hey, Mister Tekerisi, are you? Do you follow the Athari creed? Are you a Salafi? I don't consider myself to be any creed. I'm just. Oh, I'm, so you don't I'm follow somebody. Quran and Sunnah, brother? I follow the Quran and Sunnah. Okay, so when it says Allah has hands and a shin, do you make that weird, or these are his sifat, his attributes? This this is. Something that describes his attributes, but it's well, not say physical. again because you just said you don't because you just end up saying you're Salafi, you don't, you don't want to say so. They are his sifat, right? All of those are Allah's sifat, right? His characteristics. So you're not an Ashari or a Maturidi. He says, No, no, it's a metaphor. So Allah has a shin, Allah he is not physical. He's he does, does he have, have a shin, body. buddy? Does he have a shin, please? Allah shin that he will lay bare on the day of judgment by which you recognize him. Chapter 68, verse 42 of the Quran. Does he have a shin? If the hadith says, then he does. Okay, that's it. So then don't delay it. Okay, so he has a shin. Now, he also has two right hands according to the sound a hadith, right? According to the hadith, but they're not physical. Can you stop qualifying it? You don't even know what I'm getting to. Okay, and he has eyes, right? At least two eyes. Brother, why are you moving? I just want you to tell because you said he's not fit. Okay. He said, he said, so Jesus these hands, these hands. Let's, let's, let's use the logic. Like, do you, will logic, you see I'll the shit? See, you're running. I know you're scared. Take it easy. Were you going to see the shit? There's nothing to run. Okay. Will you see the shit? Allah is not physical. Will you I'm see saying. the shit according to Bukhari? Khulkhari? My brother, I'm trying to be respectful. Don't make jokes here. That's not a joke. It's the, he's called Will the you see the shin in Khulkhari or no? According to Sal Bukhari. No, I have no knowledge about this hadith, so I will not speak. I will not speak. I okay, then if we give you the hadith, will you then comment? We'll give you the link. If you go to sunnah.com, put on shin, and we'll see. It's a long one, but we're going to get to the point. Just put shin, Allah shin is going to come up. Oh, man. Let me zoom out of here. Well, yeah, you're going to have to do shin and form. Put shin and form. will be easier. And form because that's going to bring it up real fast. Wait, okay. Well, the shape. No, don't, don't put shape. hand form, man. Shape. We put shape. Yeah, you just put shin and shape. Sometimes you put too many words. Hold on, buddy. We want to show it to you so we don't think we're lying. Okay, shape. Yeah. There it goes right there. Read it from now. He's got to know that idea so I don't think you're lying. All if right. you scroll down, it's going to show you. Yeah. Do you see that? Right but you got to tell him. It's Sal Bukhari. Seven four three nine. Is there any way that, that because you may think you're lying? So we see uh, it. Right? We, we can. I mean, it'll do a lot of work. But yes, I mean. Okay. Now, go up a little bit. All right. Okay, you're gonna start well, where it says, <clears throat> and they will fall in hell when they remain only those. Where it says, says when they remain only those. When they remain only those. Got it. Here we go. All right. When they remain only <laughs> those who used to worship Allah. Both the obedient ones and the mischievous ones. It will be said to them, what keeps you here when all the people have gone? 
They will say, we parted with them when we were in greater need of them than we are today. Okay. Keep reading. Uh, all right. So it says, continues. Hold on. Yeah. What is going on here? Yeah, because it does that. If you all the way there, and then it's going to mess it up. Hold on. Yeah, that's what it does. Hold on, guys. What are you doing? Now? I'm sharing the screen so the audience. Oh, you can do that. Huh? Yes. Oh, so now what you do? Oh, right yeah. there, player. You can see it on YouTube, man. Wait like this. Okay, go ahead. All right, now. So it says, uh, da da da. Uh, what keeps you okay? They will say we parted with them in the world when we were in greater need of them than we are today. We heard the call of one proclaiming, "Let every nation follow what they used to worship," and now we are waiting for our Lord. And now they're going to recognize their Lord. Mm -hmm. Come on, okay, read it. Then the Almighty will come to them in a shape other than the one. Which they saw Sam the first time. So Allah appeared in a shape that mm -hmm. could be seen, right? That can be seen. Okay, keep going. That's right. Uh, and he will say, I am your Lord. And they will say, you are not our Lord. And none will speak to him. Then but the prophets. And then it will be said to them, do you know any sign by which you can recognize him? Mm -hmm. They will say. The shin, and so Allah will then uncover his shin. Okay, now before you move on, well, we'll finish it so you can whereupon, yeah. Whereupon every believer will prostrate before him, and there will remain those who used to prostrate before him just for showing off and gaining good reputation. Okay, so what you heard it says Allah appeared to them in a shape. Yep. That they did not recognize him. Then the Almighty will come to them. Oh, you took it off. You should. Oops. You're going to have to do the... Issue. Sure it is. Okay. Then the Almighty will come to them in a shape other than the one which they saw the first time. He said, I'm your Lord. So he's changing his shape. And then he shows the shin. So do they see the shin visibly? Yes, right? Right? This, I will not speak out of my ignorance. I have no knowledge about this. Okay, so then that's fine. Well, the whole point so, is anyone who reads it, we'll see. Your God appears in a shape. Well, a shape, if it's a shape, then it's visible. You can't have a visible shape if it's not material. So you can say it's not physical all you want. This is a material shape. So your God has a shape and he can change his shape, but he has a shape and you believe the shape is not created, right? His surah is not created. The word shape would be surah. It's uncreated, right? He's like him. He's not physical. He's outside of time and space. No, he's not. He, he's He's not outside because this is in time. Are you saying they're out of time? He's out, he's a creator of the time and space. Where is so he, he meeting them? Perfect. Where are they seeing him? They're seeing his shape. He's talking to them. That means he's appearing in time with them for them to see him and see his shape. What are you talking about, dude? So let's get back to the convert. Uh, no, no, don't change the, the subject. Hold on. I'm going to get back to Jesus being a Muslim. Submit. We're going to get there. But you ran from this. And isn't it true that according to your sound narrations, Bukhari Muslim, your Allah descends the last third part of every night to the lowest lowest heaven? Yes, I've heard that his mercy gets closer to the... No, it doesn't say mercy. That is the ta'wil that the Ashari and Maturiti do in the Shia. The Salafis say, no, he descends in a manner suiting his majesty. But then if he descends to the lowest heaven every third part of the night, that means he entered into creation. So what are you talking about, man? As for what we believe in, that his mercy gets closer to us. That's so not what the hadith say. Don't improve on your prophet. Your prophet was clear. You don't speak better than him. He said, Allah, the majestic, descends to the lowest heaven every third or part of that. He could have said his mercy. Yes, that's what it says. No, it does not. The meaning of the hadith. Okay, put Allah descends. See again, he's lying to me doing tapia, or you just don't know you're you're jahil. You don't know you're okay. Descends and say heaven. Take it easy, man. Take it easy. No, I know you got nervous now. Take it easy. So, okay, can you uh go down and you'll see it. That's not the one to keep on a low seven right there. Oh my goodness, until we find it, descend it. You may have to say put a third part, put third because this is giving you. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Right there, we don't need to. So I must admit, there's too many hadiths. That's what I'm saying. So you click, yeah. 
Where is this from? Sahih Muslim 758. Because he said it says mercy, right? All right. Uh, when half of the night or two third of it is over, Allah, the blessed and the exalted, descends to the lowest heaven and says, Is there any beggar so that he may be so that he be given? Is there any supplicator so that he be answered? Is there any beggar of forgiveness so that he be forgiven? Okay, so now before you now, where did it say mercy? It says Allah descends. I never said this hadith wrong. This, I heard this hadith. This is true hadith. But I said what the scholar... No, what, what that's not all scholars. scholars. You don't choose the scholars you like. Not all scholars agree. They reject this as tatwiyah. They say, no, that's not what it says. So I'm going by what your prophet said. Don't correct them. He says, your God descends. The only way he can descend right. is if he's entering don't creation. Don't so now that we corrected this misinformation on your part, Allah is above creation. No, uh, no he's not. He enters creation. Oh, he's above time. No, he enters time. But put that aside. Now, can you show us from the Bible, the challenge from the Bible, Jesus is Muslim. That's what okay. we're waiting for. Sure. Go ahead. So before I show you, who did Jesus submit his will to? You tell us. Again? Have you listened who to anything we Jesus said? To who? No, I'm, I'm using logic. It says God logic, so I'm using logic. Yeah, right yeah. Now. Let's use God logic. He prayed to the Father, his Father. You're such a spoiler. Goodness. He prayed to his so, Father. So just like Muslim means somebody that submits his will to God. No, that's Jesus not what I said. Listen point. to my response. You didn't address it. He was praying and submitting to his father. So I want you to say in front of everyone, Allah is my father, Muhammad's father, Jesus' father. I will never say that because say that's it again? disbelief. I will never say that because that's so belief. So you just buried your Quran because the Bible says the one that Jesus submitted to is his father, not your Allah because your Allah is a father to no one. Can so give us some more proof. Time? So do you do you understand how that disqualifies Jesus as being a Muslim? Is it, he's not. It's not a law that he's submitting to. So okay, how about this? We who, wait, wait. Who, before, who, before, before, you, before you move on, bro, I just want to make sure you understood that. Okay. okay. Do you, so do you understand that with Jesus submitting to his Father, saying that God is his Father, then he's not submitting to Allah because Allah is not his Father, right? Well, according to Christianity, you guys believe that Allah is his father. No, no, no we don't we believe don't. your God Allah is his father. We don't believe the, the Allah of the Quran is God. So let, let's try this again, bro. So well, that's your Allah, Allah, Allah is not the is Allah is not the father of Jesus, right, Salam? Right? One more time. One Allah, more time. Allah is not the father of Jesus, right? All of the crowd, well, according right? to Coptic Christians, yes, according to Coptic no, no, Christians, according, no, 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 we're not. No, no well, well, let, okay. Coptic Christians also say <laughs> the Father is Allah, Jesus is Allah, and the Holy Spirit is Allah. Exactly. So Coptic Christians just showed that your Quran is fake again. We have Coptic Christians in their services. They use the term Allah for Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and in the Arabic Bible that they read, Jesus is called Ya Allah in Hebrews one eight. The Father says to the Son, "Your throne, Ya Allah." So. If you're going to go to the Coptic Christians, Coptic Christians, can you text it? Put a comment. Do you believe Allah of the Bible is Father, Son, Holy Spirit? That's not your Allah of the Quran. So now I want you to tell everyone, I said I bear witness. Allah is the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And Jesus is Allah who became man from Mary. I will never say that. I'd rather die than saying that. Yeah, well, you will die and go to hell if you don't say that. Slave for Muhammad. But thank you. Brother, so only, give us a verse knows, that Jesus is a Muslim from the Bible. Knows, We're waiting. Only God knows who will go to hell or not. Well, no, Jesus, Jesus, no, Jesus tells us. Does. If he you tells reject you. him, you're going to hell. Jesus told you that. I'm, 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 okay. okay. He let's, said, let's he's, Jesus ahead. says, if, unless you believe that I am he, you will die in your sins. He guarantees it. Exactly. Let's use logic. Just, who the same logic Jesus that has been destroying you? Muslims or Christians? What? Who, who follows Jesus more, Muslims or Christians? Let, let, let's start with this. Let's okay, start with this. Okay. When you when you pray, do you pray and call Allah your Father? I do not. I do not do that. Okay, so, let's check. Okay, but when we pray, we call Him Father. Hmm. So you just said you're not a real Christian. You're a fake. Okay. Secondly. Second. Secondly. Well, here, let me show you. Jesus said, when you pray, 
to say, Our Father who art in heaven. So now you are more Christian than us. Right now, salam, we're going to clip it. I want you to repeat salam. I salam, say, Oh Allah, our Father who art in heaven. Say it. I will never say that. What, 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 no, what, so you just said you're a Christian more than us. And Jesus said, That's how you pray. Said, our Father who art in heaven. I said, we submit to the will of God. We follow Jesus more what than God? us. No, you don't. Because the God yes, that Jesus do. said you submit to is the Father, not your Allah. And you know so what the Father's will is? You know what the Father's will is? Salam, do you know what the Father's will is according to that Jesus you claim? What is his will? Mark 3, 5. Watch here. Be patient. Let me show you. Mark 3, 5 and Mark 9, 7. Jesus tells you what the will of God is because the Father will tell you what his will is. Mark 3, 5 and then 9, 7. Watch here. Then I'm going to ask you a question because you said you're more Christian than us. All right. Nine or something. Yeah. Let me, if you want, I'll hold it when you want. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. No, no, Christian. don't change the subject. Wait. The Bible. We're saying shows from the Bible. Jesus Muslim. What does Mark 3, 5 say? Uh, so Mark Bible, 3, 5. Oh, listen to it at least the verse so you can respond, man. Mark 3, 5. It says this. And he looked around him. And, uh, I'm sorry. And he looked around at them with anger, grieved. Mark their... 335. Mm. My apologies, man. Because I was thinking of five. 335. See, it happens, man. Computer shut down, bro. Your yeah, crown is very you, you right. You're right. Yeah, but Mark that's, a rare, that's a rare occasion. Yeah. All right, here it is. Now we got it. For whoever does the will of God, he is my brother and sister and mother. Now, Salam, do you do the will of God? I did follow the will of God according so, okay, to the truth. So, okay, I know. But here, when Jesus says, whoever does the will of God. So you say, Amin, I do the will of God? No, I do not because the Bible has been changed. But so what was our challenge to show us from the Bible, Jesus Muslim? So you, by you saying it's changed, you just said the Bible destroys your Quran. So let's try it again. Okay. In my Bible, Jesus says, do the will of God. So do you do the will of God that Jesus said you should do? Yes or no? According to Quran, yes. Okay, one more time. I know it's hard because trying to be ummi is hard. In my Bible, Jesus said, do the will of God. According to the Bible that I just quoted, do you do the will of God? I do the will of God. Okay, Mark 9, 7, the will of God according to my Bible. What does it say? Mark 9, 7. Listen to the salam. Mark 9, 7, according to my Bible, what is the will of God? The will of God is, and a cloud overshadowed them, and a voice came out of the cloud saying, this is my beloved son. Listen to him. So that Bible where Jesus said, do the will of God. God then shows up in a cloud and he says to Peter, James, and John, this is my beloved son. Jesus is my son whom I love. Listen to him. So do you believe Jesus is the beloved son of Allah, Habib ibn Allah? And do you listen to the son of God whom God loves? Oh, this is clearly from Satan himself. Okay, so then that means ah, you just listen to the son. Thank you. Thank you, son. Let me, let me tell you something. Ah, if, if God ordered you guys to follow Jesus, why don't you follow Jesus? Why don't you? Jesus just never, did. Why don't you? Jesus never ate pork. No, no. Salam. 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 Why don't you? Why don't you follow Jesus, bro? I do follow my Jesus. Okay, so, so, right? So, so do exactly what okay. Sam said. Yeah, yeah, do it. Do it. Okay, guys. Salam so just said he follows. Hold on, Salam. Guys, Muslim Salam said, I follow Jesus and I agree. Jesus is the beloved son of God. I and I will listen that. to I the beloved son of God because God is his father, lie. Jesus' son, and Muhammad is an antichrist. Good lie. job, Salam. No, don't, don't lie, man. Don't deceive people. I never said that. Jesus is the powerful prophet of God. That's not what I Jesus said. Jesus says you're a liar and so, Allah the Quran is a liar. So, so uh, if, if Jesus ordered you guys to follow the his way why don't you guys how many guys times we just read what jesus said no, jesus said not, follow the will of god and god said believe jesus is my beloved son you, you're not letting me talk because you're now sounding like the crown you're making no sense okay so tell me jesus never drank alcohol. wait wait salam 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 you're, you're trying you're trying to go on other points right now did you did you just because can you can you address what was said bro please Address what was said. You guys are twisting and deceiving people. That's okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. What what did what what did we, what did Sam when he quoted to you what the will of God is? What did he because ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages in the live stream, 
What is it that we do? What is it that we do here, y'all? Well, te y'all tell me. Watch in the comment section. It it'll tell you. Salam, I want you to pay attention to the comment section. They're going to tell you the only thing we do here. You see what they're saying? Tell on YouTube, what do we do? We, you see it? You see what, what, what do they say? What we just do? We just read, bro. We just read. That's it. That's it. So Sam read to you. He read to you what the will of God is, according to the Bible. And that is to believe in his son and to listen to his son. Do you do that? Do you believe that Jesus is his son? And do you listen to his son? I don't do that according to Bible. Okay, so I then according to the Bible, according to the Bible, to the Bible to you follow mm -hmm. Satan and not Jesus, exactly. not God. Totally. We follow so Jesus maybe. more than you do. Exactly. No, we Muslims follow Jesus more than you Christians. Okay, Why? buddy. Right. Hey, hey buddy, uh, make sure when you kiss the black stone, say hi to uh, Shaytan okay. there. Let me get my... Yeah, let get me get take, my... take care, brother. Take care. Thank you, man. Oh, my God. Thank you. When you kiss the black stone, say hi to Shaytan there. Woo! Man. Hey. Shake his right hand. Little, little reminder, man. Let's take a break and get some of these super chats out here, man, right, because God we got some, some beautiful gifts here. Now, Sam, someone told, someone said that they said, you know, they're dropping it for both of us. No. Okay. I got, I thank you, and I want to then gift it to him, his ministry. So but what if, you. what if I want to gift it as well? Well, you can do some other time on my channel. This one today's okay. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you, guys. I accept it, but I want to also be a blessing financially for him. So since you're so much, if you don't mind, I'll gift it to the brother. Thank you. Okay. All right. And someone else said, uh, I think it was the it was the two hundred dollar one. They said, uh, Sam, this is all for Avery because you blocked me on your channel. Hey, brother. But God bless. If you send me a thousand, I'll block you, make you a mod. <laughs> oh man, I love you guys, man. I love my brothers and sisters in the faith. Uh, okay, thank you all for sharing. You guys, we're gonna go on to the next guest. We got eighteen hundred people watching on YouTube. We got 1,600 people watching on TikTok. Make sure, guys, that you hit the like button. Smash the like button. 434, that like button on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to show you more of a prophet than Muhammad. Oh. I'm going to prophesy. Uh -huh. And they're going to come and say, Jesus is Muslim because he submitted his will to God. And he prayed like Muslims. Mm. Guys, I'm is that what you predict? Yeah, here's my prediction. Here's my prediction. To show more prophet than Muhammad. Show us that Jesus is a Muslim according to the Bible. Mm. Jesus submitted his will to God and he prayed like Muslims. Mm. All right. Okay, come on, guys. Prove me a false, I'm a false prophet. Let's all, see. I, all you got to do is prove him wrong. Yeah, come on. Prove all you got to do is prove him wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Good, man. All right, here we go, man. Wrong. Here we go. Hold on, man. Let me make sure this is like a legit. All right. <clears throat> Salam, I'm going to see. Hello? Hi. Uh-oh. Hello? Hello. Hi. Hello? Yeah, we can hear you. Can Go you ahead. hear me? Yes, we can hear you. I can't hear you. Maybe maybe leave the app and then come right back. Hello? She's not Wait. the same person. Right? Can I, like, no, I'm going to join again. Doesn't. I can't hear you. Wait. Okay. Okay, come back. Um, okay. How can I get out of this? I got, Bring her I, back. I got, I got her. Bring her back. Maybe she's going to be sensitive. Yeah, she's different. She's different. Right, that's all right. But guys, let's see who's going to falsify my prophecy. <laughs> then after I'm proven right, you're going to say, Ashadu, la ilaha illallah, Ashadu, Sam Shimon, Abduluhu was Rasuluhu. Go ahead, man. Watch. You're going to prove me right. Watch. So we're going to wait for the sister to come back. Hey, moderators, if you guys see her back in the... Uh, Thank you. Bring her up. And the request, please bring her up for me. Um, there's one person I do want to bring up, though. Ahmed. You got refuted on calling my Ahmed. Ahmed, hold on, bro. Ahmed, do you do you do you want to engage or not? Do you want to engage or not? Hello. All right, she's back. Bye bye, buddy. Thanks for wasting our time. Thank you. Are you there? I don't know what's like wrong with my phone, but I can't hear you. Like before I joined, I could hear you guys, but now I can't. Can you hear us now? Okay, I got it. I don't know. Hold on, one, one second. One, one, one second. She can't hear us. So I one know, second. Know how to fix it? Yeah, she's going to have to like completely restart the app. So, sis, uh, uh, I think your name was Issy. You're, you might have to completely uh, shut down the app and re restart it, or 
uh, just turn your phone off and on again. It, it happened to me. And when I killed the app, oh, when I unalived the app, yes, I, I, you know, it, it started working again. So you, you might have to just unalive the app, you know, completely, and then restart it. Okay. So as soon as you, as soon as you, you come, come back, back, we'll have you back up. Yeah. All right. As so soon as you next. come back. Okay. Let's see. We're gonna take a new shahada. A shadu. Sam Shimon Abdullah Go ahead. All They're right. gonna prove me right, guys. Watch. Yes. Oh yeah. I'm watching it on, on 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 YouTube. Say that again. I'm watching it on YouTube. Oh, okay. okay. Can I can I come back in like five minutes? Can I come back in five minutes? Sure. Five minutes to preach. Go ahead. Yeah. Sure. He's about to okay. that. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. But because you're gonna preach a sermon. Is that well she's she's coming back in five minutes so she's oh she's coming back oh i yeah. thought she's preaching all right good you need to use back no no, no i, I thought table. because i thought she said she oh you're gonna be uh I'm like okay you're right. being facetious yes can you spell them it oh. facetious yeah go ahead all right, all right. <clears throat> let's see here uh mustafa let's see if we got any muslims here i want to i want sam to you know yeah whatever come on that young lady comes off she's open we Man, there's a lot of y'all. Christians, I need you guys to withdraw, please. You're, yeah, you're no Christians. Me. It's only Muslims. They're going to prove Jesus is a Muslim from the Bible that's corrupted. Yeah. If you are a Christian, please withdraw your request. Uh, let's go ahead and get Mustafa up here. All right. The chosen one. The chosen one, Abibi. Man, I do look leaner, huh? My neck. What's up, man? I'm looking lean. I pray I get muscular. I'll be you see the progress, man. Well, what's up, man? Don't hey. hey. Sunday, Sunday, hey, bro. man. I give props to what the props is do, man. Okay, you think he's gonna fulfill my prophecy? Well, I'm I'm hoping not. Because if you're a prophet, we're in trouble. Right? The world is in trouble. Yeah, man. we're in trouble. Man, you thought Joseph Smith was bad. Ooh -wee. <laughs> man. Thank I'm, you, Virginia. Imagine if Muhammad had you say that to all the Christian apologists, Virginia. Now. Virginia, you say that to all the Christian apologists, Virginia. Oh, Issy's back. Okay. All right, go ahead. She's back. All right, we got the sister back. Right. Can you hear us? Hello. Testing, testing. Can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Boom! Oh, All hand to us, sister. Go ahead, um, yes. Go ahead. Welcome. Can you hear me? Yes, we hear you wonderfully. Wunderbar. <laughs> okay. I have like some questions. Um, like I can't really prove that Jesus Muslim because like. Um, we Muslims do say that because, um, you know, like Muslims is the meaning of like praying to one God, but you just said like five minutes ago that he called like in the prayer, like Jesus, his father and we Muslim, you know, we don't right. believe that Allah is our father. But I have some questions because I'm like interested in the Christianity mm -hmm. because I need an answer. All right, so you before know, like you before you go, Issy, before you go, I'm, I'm gonna let you ask your question. Yeah, fine, yeah. But something important just happened. Okay. You just proved that Sam was a false prophet because he prophesied that the next Muslim that comes yeah, up, man. the next Muslim That's that why comes you up, did that, huh, <laughs> damn, bro, I'm thinking you're looking at a comment there. Nah, you mean not gonna say he, Sam he was, said the um, next Muslim, 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 Muslim that comes up man. is going to repeat the arguments that we heard, and however. Man. A honest Muslim came up and said, "You know what? I heard what you guys said, and you know, as a Muslims, we say this is according to our beliefs, but we can't. I cannot prove this to you, but I do have questions. Man, glory to God in the highest. He did not allow this to happen. Great job, awesome. Go ahead. All right, so what 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 are your questions, sister? What's your what are your questions? Okay, like my question is, you know, like I heard, like the the Bible is like, you know, like." before people used to like not people i don't know what's it called in english because i'm from germany like the friends of jesus he stayed with um what are they called you know like Dis and, yes mm -hmm. um like not the old testament i mean like the bible is it like um they <clears throat> used to write letters and is it like this is the new bible like the bible I think I know what you're confused. Yeah. Well, yeah, what you're getting confused with, in the Bible, there are two sections. The Old Testament, New Testament. New Testament doesn't mean Old Testament has been changed. So let me explain what mm -hmm. you're hearing. <clears throat> New Testament okay. 
Jesus came to make a what's called a new covenant. <clears throat> now, in in the Quran, you have a word for covenant. It's you have actually two terms that's used: mithak, mithak, the mithak that Allah took with the seed of Adam, this covenant, and the covenant that the Quran talks about Allah making with Bani Israel. Covenant means like a contract. Okay, so okay. the old contract covenant was between God and Israel through Moses. The New Testament is the new covenant, the new contract that Jesus makes with his followers. That's why it's called New Testament, because it's Jesus coming, making a new covenant, a new contract. In the old English, it was called testament. Testament means a covenant. What you would say in Islamic terminology, the myth mithak. This covenant. You with me there? Yeah. That's all it is. It's Jesus coming to make a new covenant, a new contract between the followers of God and Jesus. The old covenant, we call it old because that is the covenant between Moses and Israel that God made. But now Jesus comes with something better. Oh, okay. So, like, the Bible is um, also, like... Um, is it true, like Jesus told the, um, oh, I forgot it again, like the, the disciples. 12. Disci Hawaii and yes. disciples, his followers, yes. What you would call Sahaba. Yes. Jesus um, is Sahaba. Yes, I'm just going to say that because I can't, That's I don't fine. know, I just forgot the word. Yeah, like his um, Sahaba. Yes. Um, did he, did Jesus tell his Sahaba to, you know, like write? What happened? She there? She probably cut out. She do what? Is Issa, you there? She cut off. Whatever. Yeah. I, we can kind of hear you. Yeah. Okay, we can hear you. No, yeah, yeah Jesus, you yeah, what she's asking, did Jesus tell the Sahaba to write? Is that what you're asking? Oh, yeah, yes. I was going to ask if, like, Jesus told the Sahaba to write every. She's yeah, she has bad connection. Yeah, sorry, <clears throat> because she's in a different country. Okay. So can you hear us? Yeah, it'd be nice to answer her questions. I hope yeah. she comes back. By the grace of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Pray for this young lady. She's asking good questions. So I want to make sure she's hearing us so I can answer. We'll wait for her to come back. Let us know when your connection work. Is she left? Hello. Yeah, she's, she's okay, can you hear us? I'm sorry, my feeling is just so. No, it's bad. okay. Can you hear us? Yes. Okay. To answer your question, are you asking Jesus said to write down what he said? No, what he said was this. He made a promise. He goes, Ruhul Qudus, Ruhul Qudus, the Holy Spirit will come to them. <clears throat> he will remind them everything Jesus said, and he will make known to them new revelation. Wahi. And they will then pass it on. So let me show you what where Jesus says that. If you want to go to John 14, 26, and then 16, 12 to 13. So John 14, 26, this is one of the Sahaba. John is Sahabi. And he's writing down what Jesus said the Spirit would do, the Ruh would do when he comes to them. And so he came to them, which is why he's writing down, then put 16, 12 to 13. So Jesus said, you can't handle the things I'm telling you now, but I will send Ruhul Qudus, Ruhul Qudus, the Holy Spirit. Now watch what it says, John 14, 26. Mm -hmm. It says, but the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Now, did you catch? He said, he will remind you everything I said so you don't forget. Why? Because then they're going to teach it to the tabi'in, mm -hmm. right? You have the sahaba, the tabi'in, and the tabi tabi'in, right? Mm -hmm. Now watch the other promise, John 16, 12 to 13. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. So that's his promise. You're not ready now. The Spirit will come, the Holy Spirit. 
and he will then remind you of everything I said, so you can then remember and teach them, and then he's going to give you new information, wahi. So then the spirit came, they remembered, they taught what Jesus said, and then they had it recorded for future generations because they knew they were going to pass away from the earth. Oh. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Do you have any do you have any other questions about the Bible or about Jesus and um yes. Um like I was like raised a Christian, but I didn't really like understand the Christianity so much. So I can't call myself um an old Christian. But um, you know, like Jesus came to the earth to die for our sins. That's what like that. That's what Christians believe, right? Yes. But, like, I do have a question. Like, why do, um, like, if we, like, sin, I know we have to repent so yes. um, God does forgive us. But, like, um, like people, that does they not have this mindset, oh, yeah, I'm just going to do this sin and this no. sin because, like, God, be no, it's not allowed. No. It's forbidden. Jesus says that if you really love me, okay, I'll get you verses, you will mm -hmm. obey me. And if you don't obey me, that means you hate me. And Jesus said that he came to save us from sin so we can live in obedience to him. Here, I'll show you the verses. Go to John 14, 23 to 24. 14 to 23, 23 to 24. So he warns, if you believe in me and accept what I did, now you live for me. Now, if you want to go to Titus 2, 13 or 14, then we can just, there's a lot, but these two will suffice. So Jesus came, I'm sorry, uh, Titus, Titus 2. 2, 13 or 14. Jesus came to die for our sins. And if we accept what he did, then now we live for him and we show him we love him by obeying him. And he tells us, mm -hmm. you do not sin. You do what is right and you avoid sin. And he says, if you think you love me, but you disobey me, then you don't love me. So read John 14, 23 to 24. Jesus answered him, answered him. If anyone loves me, he will keep my word and my father will love him. And we will come to him and make our home with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep mm -hmm. my words. And the word that you hear is not mine but the fathers who sent me. Now he's going to read another verse from one of the Tabi'in, followers of the Sahaba, Paul. Look what he says here. Jesus came to do, and he's saying Jesus will come back to judge the evil and sinners who don't obey him. And if we remain faithful, he'll bless us. Now read what it says. Waiting for our blessed hope, the appearing, of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all lawlessness. Now let me break it down for her. Mm -hmm. See, it's a Jesus came to save you from breaking the Sharia of God. He came to mm -hmm. save you from sinning <clears throat> by breaking the Sharia. He came to save you to do the Sharia of God. Mm -hmm. Now read what it says. And to purify himself a people for his own possession who are zealous for good works. So it says that Jesus died to pay your debt. So now that you give your life to him by the spirit that he sends to you, he will now change you. So you do not break Sharia, but follow his commands and live in obedience to him. Because he says, if you call me Lord, Lord, and you don't do what I say, then you're not really a Christian. So I'm going to show you that. You ready? Matthew okay. 7, 21 and 23. So someone who understands Christianity knows that's not a license to sin because that means I'm showing I don't believe in Jesus and I could care less what he did. Now watch. Matthew 7, 21, 23. This is from a Sahabi who heard Jesus. Read what it says. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. On that day, many will come to me saying, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many mighty works in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. 
depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. You see that word lawlessness means they did not obey the Sharia of Jesus. So he's going to say to these oh. Christians who come on the day, but Jesus, we preached in your name. We did miracles in your name. We cast out shayateen in your name by your authority. He goes, but you did not obey my Sharia. That means you did not love me. You did not honor me. Oh. I don't know you. Oh, okay, I, I get it. It's like making sense. But like if you do like small sins and you repent, like he's going to forgive you, right? You are. Uh, if you like. That's where Toba comes in. You confess. Jesus, I'm sorry. I made a sin. Yeah. Please forgive me and help me. That's why he died so that when you do confess and you make Toba, he will forgive you. But before you ask me another question, I'm going to shock you. I'm going to shock you. In Sahih Bukhari, mm -hmm. there are hadiths mm -hmm. where Muhammad said, that mm -hmm. anyone who dies believing yeah. there is no God but Allah shall enter mm -hmm. Jannah. And then someone asked yes. him, even if he commits zinna and he steals, he goes, yes, even if he commits zinna and steals. So he asked him again, even if he commits zinna, it's, you could put theft. So you put theft and illegal sexual. Just put illegal sexual and theft will come up. Okay. So now it's actually Islam that teaches that hey you can commit zinna and steal but if you die believing la ilaha illallah you'll make it to jannah he's gonna read it for you where's this from sahih bukhari it's 6810 sahih bukhari 6810 look what he says it says the prophet said the one who commits an illegal sexual intercourse is not mm -hmm. a believer at the time of committing illegal sexual intercourse. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the oh. wrong hadith. We apologize. We apologize. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, this is it. This is, this is, this is We found the right one. We yeah. apologize, sister, because again, we don't have the hadith no, in front probably. of us. We have to do a word search online. This is Bukhari. This yeah. is the one. Yeah. Yeah. Saya Bukhari. Okay. Saya Bukhari 5827. And this comes from a Muslim website, sunnah.com. They have a search engine, so we're not lying. Okay. Sunnah.com. Yes. Now watch this, Rita. Mm -hmm. Abu Dhab. All right. <laughs> So it says, <clears throat> I came to the prophet while he was mm -hmm. wearing white clothes and sleeping. Then I went back to him again after he had got up from his sleep. He said, nobody says none has the right to be worshipped but Allah. And then, and, later on, and then later on, he dies while believing in that except that he will enter paradise. Yeah. So everyone who says that there's none, no God but Allah, right, and there's mm -hmm. no one else to be worshipped, he dies on that belief, they'll enter paradise. Now watch what happens. Now watch this, sister. So Abu Dhar responds to him, he says, even if he had committed illegal sexual intercourse and theft, he said, even if he had committed illegal intercourse, sexual intercourse and theft. Yeah. I said, even if he committed illegal sexual intercourse and theft, mm, sure. he said, again, even if he had committed illegal sexual intercourse and theft. I said, even... Three times? Even, three times. This is the wow. third time. Even if he had committed illegal sexual intercourse and theft, he replied... Even if he had committed illegal sexual intercourse and theft, in spite of uh, Abu Dhar's dislike. So he's rebuking Abu Dhar. Even if you don't like it, Abu Dhar, that's how it's going to be. Mm -hmm. okay, Abu Abdullah said, This is at so, the. Go ahead, yes. Uh -huh. You're saying, go ahead. Yeah, you got the idea. Go ahead, sister. What are you saying? No, I was going to ask if, like, the. I was going to say, um, like, is the hadith saying, like, if you die on the shahada, yes. like, even if you committed zina, you're going exactly. to heaven? Exactly. No, oh. not, you're not going and... to hell. You're not going to hell. No, the hadith is saying the opposite. What the hadith is saying is if you say, yeah, La ilaha Allah, and you die, you're going to Jannah. So then Abu Dhar asked, okay, but hold on. What if someone committed zina? Zinna and he stole. He's a thief. Mm -hmm. He goes, even if he did that, if he did that, but died saying there is no God but Allah, he's going to paradise. So Abu Dhar is shocked. He asked him two more times. So what I'm saying is, it's not Christianity. 
that teaches, hey, live like a devil, do what you want. Jesus died, he paid it all. No, that's actually making fun of what Jesus did. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, no, if I died for you because I love you, so that when you repent, you'll be forgiven, then you're going to give your life to me and obey me. You're not going to do it perfectly, obviously, but you don't use that excuse. Oh, no. But it's here that we read, oh yeah, even if someone committed zinna, even if he stole, but if he dies saying shara, he will make it to Jannah eventually. Um, I don't really know anything about this hadith, but I heard like if you read a hadith, uh, yes, Sahih Bukhari, but if you read anything about it, like someone has to read the meaning of it yes. because I don't really know what it means. And I'll tell you the meaning. But... From, yeah. I'll give you the meaning from what the, the Islam teaches for according to the Ahadith. The Hadith says, this is in your Hadith, Bukhari, ask the Sheikh, don't ask, but don't tell him you're getting from the Christians, he's going to get upset with you. Just say, Ya Sheikh, or whoever, Imam. I've heard that there will be some Muslims. Though they died saying shahada, shahada, they will be in hellfire. And then on the day of judgment, Yom Qiyamah, Muhammad will then intercede and take you out. So according to Islam, there are many Muslims who will have to spend time in hell. And then Muhammad will intercede, you come out. So very exciting religion, huh? Because you may end up in hell for a while, burning, and then Muhammad will come and ask Allah to take you out. Because you said... Shahada. Oh, um, I didn't really hear anything about this heavy part. That is there. I can show it. To yeah. You. Jahannamian. Yeah. Jahannamian. They're called Jahannamian. Those who came out of Jah Jahannam. Jahannamian. Jahannamian. That's the word. Yeah, but. So that's the point. And then if you want to make it even worse, sister, you want me to make it worse for you? Then we come back to Jesus. There are hadiths in Sahih Muslim, Sahih Muslim, that says that Allah will punish Jews and Christians in hell for their sins and your sins. So he's going to take your sins and put it on the Jew and the Christian, Nasara and Yahud. It's 6666. So not, not, not on here. It's a 27. Well, you can, yeah, well, whatever. Yeah, whatever. You got it? Mm -hmm. okay. You found it? Okay, yeah. So according to Sahih Muslim, Sahih Muslim, this is not Daif, Sahih Muslim is going to read it. But before he reads it, what you're going to find is that Allah will say to you, I threw a Jew or a Christian in hell as sacrifice for your sin. He's the ransom for your sin. Right? You may have to just put Jew, Christian, ransom. It'll come up. Well, here, brother. Oh, you found it? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is Sahih Muslim, and the old version is 6666. Now, what are you reading? 6665, 6666, 6668. Now, read it. Sahih Muslim. Yep. So, Abu Musa reported that Allah's messenger said, When it will be the day of resurrection, Allah would deliver to every Muslim a Jew or a Christian and say, that is your rescue from hellfire. Now, sister, here he's saying, I'm going to rescue you from hell by having a Jew or Christian burn in hell for you. Yeah. Sahih Muslim. Go ahead. Because we're going to read one more hadith. I didn't understand what. Okay. This no, is what I said. didn't understand what this means. It means like, I'm going to paradise if so a Christian mm -hmm. goes to hell? Yes. Or yes. I didn't understand. Yes. What, uh, what it's saying is, Allah is saying, you deserve to go to hell. But instead, because you said shahada, I'm going to take you out of hell or stop you from going to hell and give you jannah because I want to let a Jew and Christian burn in hell for you, your sins and their sins. That's why it says, this is your rescue. I'm going to rescue you from hell by having a Jew or Christian burn in your place. And here's another hadith. Same one. Sahih Muslim, 666. Set of three sixes, four sixes. Listen to this. No Muslim would die, but Allah would admit in his stead a Jew or a Christian in hellfire. Wow. Umar bin Abdul Aziz. Umar ibn Abdul Aziz took an oath. He swore. By one besides whom there is no God but he. Three times his father narrated this from Allah's messenger. So I heard this three times from Abu Burda that he was 
told by Muhammad, your prophet, June Christian will be thrown in hell to save you from burning in hell. So they're going to burn in hell for their sins and yours. Um. Yeah, that's Islam. This is a Muslim. Now they will say, oh, well, brother, it's Sahih Muslim. And, you know, it's Ahad. And, you know, we follow Mutawatir. So where did your prophet say you only follow Mutawatir Hadith? It's Sahih. See, the Muslims then start making excuses because they're embarrassed by this. Mm -hmm. Well, that's your problem. Come to Jesus, your Lord and Savior. Right? But any other question about Jesus? Go ahead. Wait, my mom, I'm sorry. Okay. Come on. If you need to go, it's okay, poor lady. Pray for her, this young lady. She's in secret, man. Yemen. Oh, Lord, God, God protect her. Father, protect her. Lord Jesus, what? protect her. Spirit, protect her. Bring her. Bring her to Jesus. Yeah, she falls in spirit. They're coming, folks, even in Muslim countries. They can't be public about it. Pray God deliver them from the system. Wow. Okay, I can't talk now. Okay, it's okay. You know where to find them. Come and find us. Jesus be with you. Take care. No, she's, she's, she can talk now. She oh, she said, I can. I thought she yeah. I can. I'm sorry. I thought you said you can't. My yeah. apologies. Okay, but did you hear the hadith, right? Um, The hadith about... About the June Christian burning in hell for you. Um, yes, but I didn't really hear about this hadith. Um, um, did you did you guys read the Quran? Yes, I've did read Did you Quran. guys read the Quran? Yes. Um, you know, like it, like in the Quran, it says like different stuff. Like, um, well, you know, I can learn. Yeah, but that's more proof, young lady, that Muhammad, his Sunnah, and the Quran don't agree. It's full of contradictions. But then you're saying you're no longer Sunni Muslim. So your Quran only Muslim? You can't be Quran only Muslim where you're living in Yemen because they find out, may God protect you, you'll get beaten. You cannot deny the Sunnah. The Sunnah, Hello. the Hadith is full of contradictions. Wait, we was breaking up for a second. Yes, I know. I can't um, deny the Sunnah, but I didn't hear about this Hadith. Well, that's what I'm saying. You have to, if you were on, let's say, on the YouTube channel, on his, you would see he could put it on the screen because I do YouTube, StreamYard, and we put stuff on the screen. But you can't see it because you're on TikTok. But he's doing it on his YouTube. That's why find his YouTube channel, find my YouTube channel, and come and talk to us. But these are there. It's right there. Sunnah.com. It's right there. He just put it on the screen on his YouTube channel. Do they connect my YouTube channel on TikTok? Yeah. Uh, they, uh, my YouTube channel is linked right on my TikTok bio. All you got to do is push the YouTube button, and it takes you straight to my YouTube channel. And then when you go back and watch this, you're going to see the Hadith. So this is uh, Sahih Muslim. Mm -hmm. We call it Bukhari Muslim. Oh. We're not making it up. But they'll tell you, oh, well, you know, oh. yeah, but, you know, we don't follow Ahad Hadith. But then you say, where did you get that you don't follow Ahad Hadith? Because the Salafi will say, no, we follow it all. If it's Sahih, it's Sahih. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, right now, as we speak, I'm putting the Hadith okay. on the screen so that we all can see. Um, so that we all can see it. Yep, so as he's putting it. on the screen. So let me remind you what the mm -hmm. point is. Jesus died to save me so I can be his and I obey him. Not sin in mm -hmm. his name. Because he said, if you don't obey me and you sin, then you don't love me. And I will reject you and deny you. Whereas Islam is the one that's teaching, hey, if you say Shahada, at the end you're going to make it to Jannah. Even if you committed zinna and you stole, don't worry about it. Muhammad will take you out of Jahannam and the Jews and Christians will be tortured for your sins. Um, look, um, about like um, this stuff about zinna, um, like in, the, in Islam, like, in the Quran, it says that Allah is like the most, like all forgivable. What yes, is it called? Yeah, most merciful, most forgive. forgiving. Al Ghafur. Yes, 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 and He forgives every sin. Um, and I think it's just because, like, God is um, forgive. He forgives so much, sure. but yeah. No, I we don't like have a problem like, with you sinning and acknowledging and being forgiven but what the te teaching is what abu abu dhar was shocked so you're saying if i just believe allah and there is no god 
besides him. And I know Allah and I know the Sharia, but I end up committing zina mm -hmm. and I steal, knowing that this is against Allah, that still I will end up in Jannah no matter what. Yeah, no matter what. Yeah, but I think he like means like if you repent and no matter what you have sinned in your life. What about those Muslims who are burning in hell? Didn't they repent? So why are they in hell? Because it says on Yom Qiyama, hmm? Yom Qiyama, on the day of judgment, Muhammad will ask his Lord to intercede. Ummati, ummati. And he goes, go. And as he intercedes, he'll be allowed to take Muslims out of hell who are in hell. So why'd you end up in hell if Allah forgave you? Yeah. Um... And then why does he throw Jews and Christians in your place in hell? I don't know. I don't know the hadith. I can yeah, say they're, they're. anything. Else. Go find them and then ask your sheikh. Go ask your sheikh and say, these hadiths are here. We didn't make it up. He can't lie to you. Say, wait, Sai Muslims and Bukhari. See what he's going to tell you. It's there. We didn't make it up. We're reading. It's right in front of the screen. We even on YouTube, you'll see it. Sunnah.com. It's there. Yeah. That's why if you were on StreamYard with us, I could send you the links to your, in fact, if you can, if you want, Skype me and I'll send you the links. You can read the Arabic too. It's in Arabic. But I'm going to give you my Skype. Can she find my Skype if you type it in or something? Guys, type in for her in the TikTok or even on the screen. It's all lower case letters. It's B, B like boy, B, E, N, N, Y, underline, M, A, L, I, K, and the number three. Benny underscore Malik three. So B. E N N Y underscore M A L I K three. If you contact me, I'm going to send you all the links where you're going to see it. It's on a Muslim website and you're going to read the Arabic. In fact, the Arabic is, is even stronger is, than the English. Is that on Instagram? That's Skype. That's my Skype. That's where you contact me. I'm not on Instagram. Well, am I on Instagram? No, I'm not on TikTok. I am on Instagram. But what the heck is my Instagram name? Oh, that's right. Oh, you're on Instagram? Yeah. You're on Instagram? Yeah, I'm on Instagram. Uh, can someone remind me what my Instagram is? Because I saw. Uh, yes. This man can remember every Quran verse, every Bible verse. He can remember Hadith numbers. But he can't remember his. his yeah, I don't Instagram. even know what my name is on Instagram. But if you can use Skype, find me on Skype. I gave you my Skype. Yo, man. I don't on. have Skype. Okay. I so don't Instagram, oh, okay. Well, I got a fancy yes. that. Darn it. What's your Instagram, dude? My Instagram is God Logic GL. You put in God Logic, I'll pop right up. Yeah. And if you put Sam Shamoon, maybe you'll find me, see my picture. So either one of us will send you the links. So if you find him, he'll send you the links to this. Mm. So you can read it. So you can yeah. show that you said, you, oh, okay. My Instagram is, he just posted no. a Shamoon. Then. Where is it? You want to go up a little bit, a little slowpoke? Right there. You see? You got it. Okay, my Instagram is Shemunian. Let me spell my name. You ready? Mm -hmm. Shemunian. Yeah, S H A M. S H. Yeah, so it's S H A M O U N I A N. Shemun. Yes, N I. N I A N. Yes. Underscore that underline. Mm -hmm. Answers. Answers. A N. Yeah. S W E R S. Underscore yeah. underline Islam. And if you contact okay. me later, I'll send you the link so you can read it for yourself. And then you ask the chef, say, hey, there it is. And you can read Arabic, right? No, I can't read Arabic. Okay, that's okay. Someone will read it for you. Say, hey, look, look, hey, what does this say here? What's going on here? I'll send you a lot more mm -hmm. stuff. I have a lot. Yes, I'm going to contact you. My name is Isra on Instagram. Isra. Like simple. You know what Isra yes. means? Isra, Mamiraj. Isra means when Muhammad went by night to right. Jerusalem. Isra. That means you're on a journey. Sister, may Jesus remember your namesake. Your name, Isra, is the journey at night. May the Lord Jesus take you out of the night into his light. Amen. 
What a beautiful man. No, thank you. Many times. Beautiful man. The Lord Jesus. Thank you so much. For her name's sake. A night Jenner, take her out of the darkness, the night of Satan, and bring her into your light. Show her how real you are, yes, that Lord. you love her. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Jesus. You got it, sister. Okay. okay. Thank you, guys, for all right, take answering care. my question. You're welcome. Bye -bye. Come back, take come back too, anytime. Bye. I'm live all the time. So yes. you, can, you can come back yes. anytime okay, bye -bye. and ask questions, okay? okay yes, thank but you. Be, be careful. Bye. Hold on. Be, be careful because... Mm -hmm. Oh, she's gone. Okay, but she's sorry. probably listening. What you want to say? Because, um, because, why? because there's there's probably probably as we speak, Muslims back channeling her and messaging. Of course, her. of course they are. Don't worry, yeah. God is greater than Satan and his demons. Now, by yeah. the way, it's not I want to cut you off. Yeah. It's over three hours, and I'm about to lose my phone, and, and I gotta use GPS. Okay, okay, I can come back tomorrow. So, so I phone, man, I could have been. I, had you I didn't know that, man. Guy, I mean, it's not. We can go here for another, but you know what? It's over. Look, yeah, we did. Hours. This is good. This so, is Lord good. willing, I'm here till Monday. I can come do another session tomorrow. He'll let me know. Yeah, we can do it again tomorrow. All right. Yeah, we can yeah, do it again I'll tomorrow. Set up something, and I'll be here. You let me know what time. God willing. All right, all right, guys. Well, man, this was this was awesome. Uh, thank you guys for showing up. Thanks you guys for hanging out with us. Uh, thank you guys for participating. Thank you, moderators, for holding it down in the chat, making sure everything was good. Uh, our God is undefeated. Amen. Our God is undefeated. The truth went out. Uh, seeds were planted, and God is using us Hallelujah. to bring out the truth, man. May God keep us humble. Hallelujah. May God keep us Pure obedient. And may God keep us, give us, keep giving us this honor to work in his kingdom, man. This is, man. Wasn't, she made our night, those yeah. two individuals that were being sincere. Yeah, yeah. What a great way to end. You see the sincerity in her voice. Yeah. And may the Lord Jesus, this is what I mean, it's night journey. Lord Jesus, she's in the night, in the darkness. Yeah. Take her in a journey out of that night into your light. Bring them, Lord Jesus, for Amen. your glory. Amen. So, so guys, make sure you guys give this. Uh, if not following already, you guys like this? Follow the follow the page. Um, go subscribe on YouTube to God Logic Apologetics. We had night over nineteen hundred people what? watching us live. I'm you famous, son. It's God <laughs> Logic. It's God. You know, say it's all glory to God. But yeah, it, it, it was amazing. Thank you guys on YouTube. Uh, for sticking with us throughout the, the the bad connections and things of this nature. Uh, thank you guys for the super chats. We couldn't read every single one of you guys. You guys was giving so much. But thank you guys for all the gifters on TikTok, everyone giving super chats, sewing into the ministry, investing. Uh, you guys see what it does, man. Yep. It, it, it's, it's You guys are seeing the fruits uh, of where you guys Hallelujah. are investing in the ministry. It all goes back to the ministry. So Hallelujah. thank you guys so much, Hallelujah. man. God, glory to God. So, good night. Sam, any last words you want to say to the believers? Christ is risen, risen indeed. Amen. Modern Afe. Amen, amen. <laughs> All right, take care, TikTok. All right, to the YouTube family, you guys take care of yourselves as well. You guys already know how we got to do with the outro. Y'all be blessed. See you guys tomorrow, Lord willing.